yo siempre iba a estar a tu lado Contigo en lo bueno y lo malo No importe la tormenta ni el dolor Te juré que nuestros años no serían en vano Juntos agarrados de la mano Amarnos día a día hasta el fin beautiful Wednesday evening here in the capital of Tejano Music, San Antonio, Texas, uh, for another great, it's going to be a great, great night. Uh, if you guys love Tejano Music, well, this is where you need to be tonight. You need to go get yourself something cold to drink, get comfortable, because uh, we're going to be uh, in a great interview with, uh, seems to be, it's like, every time I speak to this guy, it just feels like I've known him my whole life, like, I can carry a conversation like I've like I've had this friend for over over 30, 30 plus years. Um, but you guys are in for a treat tonight. Everybody tuning in, thank you guys so much. Again, we're absolutely this show is absolutely free. All we ask you guys to do, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, is share it share it with your friends. Who knows? Somebody might be another Tejano fan and find a show that they that they like. So, uh, yeah, if you could do us that favor, like, sh uh, like, subscribe, and share, we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, so tonight is a special night, not because of our, just a, because of our guests, but also for me, it's a kickoff uh, for everybody outside the 210. It's a kickoff to our fiesta here in San Antonio that we take mm -hmm. very, very seriously, very, very passionately. And uh, this week I had the... It's not the honor or the privilege, but I went into a store to buy something, and lo and behold, there was a camera there, and uh, the guy asked if I wanted to get interviewed, and I said, yeah, sure, man, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do it, and uh, this is what came out, man. Uh, Eddie, do we, do, we have the, do we have the pick? Yeah, it's on there. It's on the, Oh, there it is. Right, I couldn't see it. couldn't even see it. Is that cheesy or what, Gary? Um. It's pretty cheesy. <laughs> no, I've seen cheesier. You see cheesier? I look like a big old piece of cheese right there with that cheesy smile. Uh, I didn't get to plug the show, but it's all good. Uh, they, they caught me buying some uh, some Fiesta attire. Yeah, like I said, getting ready for Fiesta this week. And speaking of Fiesta, speaking of Tejano music, speaking of San Antonio, tomorrow night, uh, if you don't get enough, well, you're not going to get enough of him tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, my guest, all the way from the beautiful city of Eagle Pass, Texas. He's been here once before. Put your hands together for my good friend, Mr. Gary Hobbs. <laughs> hey, 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 there you go. Thank you. Enough, enough of those two applauses. <laughs> Well, now, oh, now, now I'm Gary. back, and we're back. And hey, we're back to not, shoot the I'm shit. A, I'm not a rookie on your show now. I, <laughs> I've been through the fire and through the you, you, SHT. You, you, you did. We, we, last time we got to shoot the shit, and uh, you, you, took, you took to that. You were like, okay, I get it now. We're just going to shoot gonna the shoot shit. It. And, you know, Gary, if you guys didn't watch the first uh, mm -hmm. interview, you can always go back on YouTube and, or on Facebook, Mumpers Wacky Wednesday, and, and look it up. Uh, tonight, I'm going to... Go from that. I'm going to carry on just a, a little bit more and, and talk to Gary because uh, if you guys don't know, Gary is a very, uh, he, he's, he's a wonderful human being, yeah. but, but he also can be a little, he's got a lot of things to say, Gary. I don't think sometimes you get enough platform time to say the things that are on your mind. No, and I've had a lot of platform time in 40 years. It's just when to release the shoot the shit. <laughs> Just minding my own business. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, our good friend Gary Hobbs here. Uh, who was it? Texas Latino Gary Hobbs and Ken Mas. Ramirera. Ramirera. Our Texas good friend, Latino, the outlaw band. Ramirera, yes. They're yeah. going to be out here at the Tejano Explosion. If you guys don't know where that's at, it's right across the street from Market Square on the other side of 35. Uh, it's a big open area right there. Uh, uh, here in a few minutes, we're, we're going to give uh, Chente Barrera a call who puts that together every year. And he's going to give us a little more information on uh, where you can get your tickets, how you can get in there, where to park, all that stuff. So uh, if you don't get enough of Gary tonight, which you're not, make sure you go out there and support the Hano Music tomorrow night. The Hano Explosion. Gary, Gary Hobbs, Texas Latino, and Ram Herrera. It's going to be a great, 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 great show. Great show. Great show. Uh, Gary, first of all, welcome to the show, man. I appreciate you Hurrah. coming back. And uh, yeah, you 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 are uh, you love to throw the Marine in there. I love it. I love it. They're relatives. And, <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> did, did you have you had family in the Marines or what? Yes. Uh, Concuña, mine, Charles Schussler from Eagle Pass, Charlie. Uh -huh. uh, I, um, other family members, I, I'm going to, but a lot of friends and, and throughout the years. So we always send shout outs at the gigs to uh, uh, men and women of the armed forces and stuff like that. And, and I have cast from the Marines and, and uh, other service branches, branches but, uh, but they always come by and say hi and say hello. But, and we're grateful to them and God bless them for their service. YouTuber. Thank you. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. Uh, you so, you so might early, you might you might gain it, some fans it, and it you might lose some it fans. It didn't even take nine minutes. Not even. Minutes. So we're talking That's about this. We're talking about the services. Uh, Out of all the services, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, and now the Space Force. People forget about the space. We have a Space Force now, right? Yes. Yeah. I can't do that, but yeah, what you just did. Uh, who is the most rowdiest of them all uh, in in your shows when you when you've been around? Service members. Uh, the Uras. <laughs> <laughs> so it's safe to say the Marines uh, Johnny, make Johnny the most Garcia noise. Yeah, from Easy, Easy uh, Night Limousine in Houston. He's he's Ura. He's Ura and, uh, all the way. Good friends of ours, uh, Johnny yeah. and Rita Garcia. And I have a lot of those friends that are Uras. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Marines. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> hello to my Tia Elsa, who's watching in Beville, Texas. Hello, Tia. She goes, I love Gary Hobbs. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. <laughs> there you go, Thea. You got a shout out from from Gary Hobbs, Gary Hobbs himself. Uh, Gary, you know, last time we talked about how you got started and you know all the different little the, the jobs that you have and how you ended up in Tejano music. Uh, we'll touch a little bit on that for the people who who didn't watch. Uh, but one thing that really fascinates me about you is the love and the passion you have for our industry. And, and that's kind of where I was going at with that, with, with what I said, like, you know, we're going to shoot the shit. Like you, you, you really do have a lot of things to say. And I, I think sometimes, uh, what I meant by platforms is uh, there's really not a, a, a right place for you to talk about those things. I mean, you have your own podcast, but you, you kind of just, you have different subjects all the time. Uh, you, you, you open to talk a little bit about that tonight. Um, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm. Pretty blunt person. I always don't hide, <laughs> but <clears throat> I guess the industry, man. It, once once you start living off of music and you 
you get past that little self-righteous thing the first couple of years you think you're you're the next uh, MJ or somebody or the next whatever prince and stuff like that or Elvis but but once you start realizing that you got to take care of business and the discipline's got to kick in and you know you want to see everybody do well because it, the industry isn't really formed by just one band you know? some of these artists today they they think everything uh, some of them think it evolves and and revolves around them but it's really all the bands and so so there's a, a lot of new bands that are trying to kick into the business but uh, they're going to learn and they got to they got to grind they have to do their work and it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go through the hardships that maybe a, another band went through or that we went through but everything that's good for the industry is good for me but everything that's bad for the industry is going to be bad for me too so you always try and and try and keep promoters in business and some of the bands they go to the jugular vein you know with with the budgets and money and stuff and and that's just going to hurt somebody else but if they can get it i recommend that you get the bag <laughs> but uh but again you you have to take care of the industry it's just not about just taking care of yourself now you do have to take care of your business you have to you know make sure that you you're out there and and so many things rehearsing and recording and and getting there on time the sound checks <laughs> and you know get get on time to the gigs and <laughs> Load in, load in and load out and, and do your job. I mean, the big boys, and I'll, I'll mention all their names, man. La Mafia, Michael Salgaos, Bobby Pulios. I mean, those those men, they take care of it, man. They're, they'll be at a sound check all afternoon if they have to be there. They're not they're not those kind of bads that they just want to get there and, you know, and uh, line check and hit it and, and I'm out of here. And they're not, and you can tell, you can tell. Yeah, they've been doing it for a long time, yeah. and they always sound, they always sound amazing. That's why they're the big boys, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Gary, um, you know, I, I, I watch a lot of other podcasts that are similar to to Wacky Wednesday, or, or not even just podcasts, just like little interviews or little clips of the, of, of Tejano musicians. Uh, just whatever has to do with the Hano music, uh, radio interviews. That now uh, there's a lot of online stations. I listen to what they have to say. Um, Right offline, we were talking about, you know, uh, that the Hano ain't dead, right? That, that, that you know, and, and you're absolutely right. Um, Saludos real quick before I get to the beautiful Miss Bonnie Hernandez Hi, Bonnie. watching. Hello, Bonnie. God Thanks bless, for tuning God in. God bless. Love uh, Bonnie. And, and so, you, you know, the Hano and music. Noah and, and Josiah. Yeah, have you seen those guys? Oh yeah, they're they're mama flex. <laughs> God, <laughs> boys, no, damn, they, those boys are. I saw them like this. And now <laughs> they, they ain't like that like no more. I told her I don't want to uh, run into those boys in no dark alley. Blessed. That's they're for blessed. damn yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, but going to the going back to the industry, so um, you know, and, and I and I listen to to. Uh, you know, periodically I listen to different uh, internet radio stations. I try to support everybody. I uh, listen to DJs who are on TikTok, on Facebook Live, whatever. And then, you know, other interviews that, that, that people do. And I honestly, in my heart, and you're the artist. I'm a fan. You're the artist. And I want to get your take on it. I think that the Hano <laughs> music right now, right now, in its state, is on a high. It's 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 on it's on a high that we haven't been in 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 a couple of years, and and not going from you know I'm not going away with what you said like you know, when people say Tejano it was never dead, but I just think right now it's buzzing, right it it it, it it's it's Tejano music is buzzing. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of places there's a lot of nightclubs opening up. There's just all kinds of things. There's festivals adding Tejano music. They just added an award to the Texas Country Music Award called the Tejano, the Tejano Country Award. So, like, you know, to me, Tejano music <clears throat> is buzzing as a fan. I, I, you know, it's it's not like just stagnant. It's there. No, people are are getting getting excited about it. What do you what what, what do you think? I agree. I I think it's on a on an incline. I think it's it, it's. Going up, for you know, pointing forward, um, I I I do believe there's a lot of uh, new places that are opening up, and and whether they're putting in live bands in there, you know, it, it's I can see a a, a positive change. Uh, so many new artists, and um, we need more musicians. We we have maybe like thirty solo artists, and 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 it's hard to get groups, uh, you know behind you and they're all borrowing musicians to make the gigs and, and <laughs> we're all like that right but i definitely see a change I, I do see an incline and 
I hope it continues to to trend up. You know. No, I I, I definitely do see people. Um, you know, and then when I follow the DJs uh, on TikTok, I think I didn't ask you that last time. Do you, do you ever go on TikTok and just like scroll through and listen to the DJs? I know you told me that. I so I asked Gary. Gary, what do you listen to in the car when you're like away from Tejano wave? And you, what'd you say? Anything? Well, a- anything but Tejano. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I listen to seventies, eighties. I listen to old school. I, you know, but the the reason that I don't listen to Tejano is because I don't want to be influenced. I write music and I write lyrics, wow. and and so every time you're listening to Tejano, back in the nineties, I I I won't mention their names, but. But you can hear a riff. No, that, mention that, their um, names, Gary. Well, That's how was, we help it was, them. It was Grupo Fama. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. you, you could hear something from one of our, uh, we have a cumbia chiquitita. And I, and I swear, except the last couple of notes, it, it, they had something recorded similar. But, but I understood, you know, we listen to music and so we're influenced. So then we're in the studio and it's three in the morning and hey man that sounds good and <laughs> just leave it there and but but if you're constantly listening to something you're you're gonna start to adapt to that and and you're listening in versions and stuff and and I I don't get influenced like that so, so I don't, you don't want to take don't, pieces from somebody yeah, where you got that little yeah. beat or harmony and that's stuff. just me other people do it their way and that's your way and my way's my way and you know but uh, so I don't I don't listen to now I may borrow a riff from Earth Wind and Fire or something but. Uh, or Chicago or something like that, but but I don't I don't listen to too much Tejano. Like when I'm in the area, uh, I'll listen to radio when I'm there. But on my downtime uh, on the road, then then you're on back some back road coming back from whatever Odessa and Tigo Pass. There's there's nothing there, so it's so it's either you know Sirius XM or it's you know your your phone stuff like that and auxiliary. But but I don't listen to a lot of Tejano. That's and the reason I asked you too is because uh, there's only two people that have ever come into this studio that, uh, and you guys are going to freak out. Well, I already gave you one of them is, is Gary Hobbs, but he's humming. He's singing like, like just like just as, as cool as can be. Like, you know, it just seems like that's something you do all the time. I just can't be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't, I, I just can't, can't be. Up. He can't shut up. <laughs> no. Uh, and, and the other one that we had here, you mentioned him earlier, was Michael Salgado. Uh, Michael Salgado came in here, and my wife was cooking, of course, my wife. It, you know, which everybody wanted to hear. Michael Salgado's here, and uh, she puts on one of his songs. And I'm embarrassed. I'm like, why? Why would you put on the artist's song like, That's funny. right now? And he took a phone call outside, and he's walking down the hallway, and she puts on honk, honky tonks and cantinas, and he's singing it as he's walking in. And I'm on the couch looking at him like, are you really? I said, Mike, do you sing your own music? Uh, occasionally, when I hear it, I'll I'll, I'll sing it. So uh, I, I don't. I turn it off. I I hate to hear myself. I'm, you you don't, Gary. You don't yeah, you don't like to hear it. No, no, but I know. I'm my worst critic. When I when I see a, a, a bad comment, I'm like, that's all you got, like, like because uh, yeah, no, I don't like to listen to myself at all. That's so. So when you go to the studio, like, I mean, that's I different, hear, right? You got to hear it. You, you hear it over and over and over again. But once it's done, mastered, put out, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I guess I'm the same way. I I don't I don't really watch the shows afterwards. Uh, unless somebody says, hey. I don't watch your shows either. But <laughs> wow, that's good. Hey, that's where you go. Wah, wah, wah. Well, we're falling behind here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're hey, back. Yeah, we're and back. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. No, I do, no, of course. It, 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 it's, it, no, I, 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 I really I catch don't. portions, right? Because I'm, I'm, it, it seems like everybody's on the phone now. The news and, and a movie or an episode, or it's here, right? Yeah, instant. And, 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 and when you look at analytics, uh, they were looking at your video. Uh, they were gone after eight seconds. What? <laughs> like, what kind of analytics is that, right? But but we do that, all of us. We're looking yeah. at, uh, okay, we, we look at it five minutes, eight minutes. Okay, then a, a text comes in. I, I, I'm, oh, man, this thing is like addicting. Like. What, I, what I love, Gary, is, you know, I'm not an artist, but, you know, we do. you have a podcast, I have a podcast, uh, it's, it's YouTube. Facebook, not so much, I think, because Facebook, you can go back and, you can see that person who writes whatever. You can kind of go back. YouTube, the people are a little more braver. 
I see you out there. I know you know who I'm talking about, <laughs> right? Those people that comment on YouTube, like everybody's uh, pretty brave. Yeah, behind, no, no, like like one of them was typing. Bumper, you're so unprofessional. I'm like, well, shit, I didn't know it was a professional show. I didn't know that that we signed up for a professional show, man. I just, you know, I love to talk to the artists and and get to know you guys in a different way. Yeah. And you know, I, I I try to say professional, but I guess I wasn't professional enough for this. Well, our podcast is audio, so we get away with a lot of things, like. Like if we're doing the audio uh, uh, segment and and so we'll say something and then we'll, there's four of us and we're like making faces like like <laughs> but, and you can't you can't get away with that like on no on yeah, not on, on not video, on here like not on um, here that's for sure you that's mentioned somebody's sure. name you go <laughs> so but uh, but in audio we get uh, get to get a you know, away with a lot of things and, and Gary over the years that you've been in in Tejano music and again. Uh, uh, I hate going back referring to the last show, but we talked a little bit about how how you you know you you were there you you were you were in the you were in the trenches, um, the beginnings, the middles, uh, kind of when it went down, and you're still here. You're still kicking ass. You're still doing gigs. Um, how have things changed for you a little bit? Um, you know, we started in '83. The latter part of '83 and '84, '85, we start. Uh, you know, getting a little bit of notice, get some calls in and stuff. And then and then you see that rise in Tejano late eighties into early nineties to mid nineties. It's just a um, twelve, thirteen years of a ride and a half. And and then you start to see the decline in, in audiences. And a lot of people are gonna say that once Selena passed away, which was her birthday, right? We just passed her birthday. But uh but um I, I don't I don't Entirely agree with that. You know, music's got to change, and new bands got to come up, and and these veteran bands, if you can't hang, you can't get off. You know, get on the porch stuff. You know, but uh, but it it's 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 not really cycles. It's what you invest in it, and if you're out there, you know, doing doing the job, we we tell our musicians all the time, just do your job, just do your job. Everything else will take care of by itself, right? And yeah. But you see bands that have been doing it far uh, longer than I have, and they're still out there kicking it, and some of them can still really perform. And I'm not talking just vocalists, but musicians, you know. Right. And um, just look at little Joe and stuff like that, David Midas. Those men can still belt it out, you know. They're like phenomenal, nothing, you know. And uh, but but to us, it it sounds like uh, I always say it's just another week, and let's go home and. But it, it's never ending. You get home and it's a Sunday. And you have two, three phone calls. And some, that was from Thursday and stuff. And uh, I hear this, that oh, Tejanos, they're, they're weekend warriors. And I go, well, then you can tell who says that, that they are weekend warriors. Because with us, it's 24-7. It's seven days a week. It's, you know, we're booking. We're trying to, of course, we're, we're uh, down to a skeleton crew. Like when we're on the road, just just seven of us, right? We so we don't have the uh, the six road crew and the bus driver and the truck driver and stuff like that. But uh, but we continue to work quite consistently. You know, we've shown a lot of continuity, and a lot of people don't believe that we're still doing a hundred plus shows a year. And and but it's on Facebook. You can you can check it out if you want. A hundred uh, plus shows yes, a year, an average hundred hundred plus. But. Uh, wow. And I, and I mentioned to people that in 94, 95, 96, we were doing like 200, 220 shows a year. And, and it just wasn't us. I mean. Gary, but I how mean, did you keep up with that, dude? Uh, oh, money talks. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> who cares if I'm tired? If the money's uh, there, I'm there. Dead or yeah, alive, no, I'm going to be yeah. there. <laughs> but, uh, no, you, you you get used to it. You, I, I'm, I'm out of it at 8, 9 in the morning. I just went to sleep, you know, at 6. And so. But unless I'm at a hotel and I got to get out by 11, it's barely getting out of there. But um, different strokes for different folks. We're, I've been a musician 40 years. Uh, May 19th is my 41st year in Tejano. 40? 41 years nonstop. Years, and gracias man. a Dios. And, man, before I forget, just crossed my mind. Happy belated birthday, Freddy Martinez. Don Freddy Martinez just went to his birthday. And Chris Roman from, uh, from On Twin Towers Productions, they do a lot of our audio on the road chris his birthday tonight today so happy birthday chris roman um so going there you back go see so don't forget you like me no no let me just say it real quick because i'm not over forget <laughs> give me a second <laughs> but uh was we continue to work and i mean it's uh, i'm like anybody else you know you you may have a really high 
you know, paying job and you're still saying like, oh man, I got to go to work. Or you may have a very minimum, very weekly paycheck, but, and you're saying, oh, I got to go to work. So that, that kind of depends on our gigs, right? But it's, it's the same, the same nerves getting right on before, but once it's on, it's, it's like any other band, you got to get up there and do it. And, you know, our, our objective has always been to make them dance. I'm not, I'm not an entertainer to really say jokes or I, I don't dance. I kind of sway sway for 40 years but let, let, I, let's let's you let's uh, you you're you're only limited to sway uh he ladies and gentlemen uh, the ladies uh if you're a little upset that gary hobbs doesn't sway as much as he did in the 90s there's there's a there's a reason and yes. a method to the madness uh is is a double well, come say, double a, arp, a, a, a double arp <laughs> right the insurance only allows yeah. him to you, sway you so to, many inches if he if he goes over they they might you they're liable to, to cut using you my off. jokes. Those were mine. You cannot be borrowing my jokes. That's borrowing. And I, hey, I'm going on what you get, told me. I'm going on what you told me. Call from my double ARP officer, and you can't be swaying like that. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's a little. It's a little too far to the left. A little yeah. far to no, the right. No, I, I just I just sway bumper. That's what I do. I sway, and then I attempt to sing. Right. I'm, I'm an actor. I've been telling everybody. Right. I've been acting like I can sing for 41 years, so I'm, man, I must be like the best Tejano actor out there. Bro. That's a, that's a, you need yeah. to go for the, uh, for the, what are the awards any that we have now? Best it, Tejano the, actor, the, the yes, Best Tejano yes. actor, we're going to start yes, a new one. Yes. TTMA, I hope I you know win something. Best Tejano <laughs> actor, we, we got to, we got to have, we got to have some nominees for that. Uh, who would you nominate? Who would I nominate? Me? Who else? Uh, actor, Tejano actor. I don't know any actors. I, no, no, the guy is Gary. So you're, you're not in that category, but <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're Ura. There you go. Uh, you know, um, the, the the other thing about about Gary is just like, to me, you you just you just the picture I had of you, uh, what I thought you were gonna be personally was complete. You were completely opposite of how I thought you were gonna be. Like from the first time I called you and asked you to, to you know, hey, can can you, you, you would you mind coming on the show or whatnot? Like complete, like I hate judging a book by its cover, but that's what I do. And my wife gets mad at me all the time. She see, that's what happens when I, you I when you a, judge people. I do a little of that too sometimes, you know. I think we all do. Yeah, but I because uh, some of my closer friends, they'll say, man, I haven't I haven't seen you in ten years, and I, I you know, but uh, but. But you're still the same guy, and but on stage, yeah, on stage it's something else. Like I'm at work, like like you can't shoot the shit like that at your work. No, no, yeah, you, you shoot can't. the shit in front of your yeah, superior front officer. Of superior officer, we're, and, we're in and, trouble. Yeah, but but with me at work, it's like man, I'm 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 trying to sing, and uh, and at the same time, I'm thinking like five, six, seven things, and then I'm thinking, oh my god, I haven't sung that song. And I got that lyric coming up, and bam, I'm there, right? Thank God I'm still good that, that I remember lyrics, and we, we can reel off like 40, 45 songs if we had to uh, per night. Gary, you, yes. you, you really can remember that many yes. songs. Yes, that's the only thing. So I, you don't use a teleprompter? No, no, not a teleprompter, not a... Cell phone? No, no. But but that's the, that's the one thing that I think that I can still do fairly well, but... Uh, you know, but on stage, it's something totally different. I'm trying to, you know, uh, man, it's like you, you get everything when you're on stage. You know, like afterwards, you know, he was too serious. He was mad at everybody. Man, I was just thinking like, dang, I'm, I'm counting people. Okay, uh, You know, I'm, I'm looking if the promoter's still there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> hey, you these things, take off these, with my these, money. These, these things happen. <laughs> but, but, but then I'm thinking, man, oh, I heard a, a, a wrong riff. And then I, and I'm worried that, okay, that, that lyric's coming up. I and mean, things like that. So, so they look at me and they go, ah, he was mad. And then, you know, so I smile with people and I, you know, uh, he was high on something. He was just like smiling all, well, well what is it going to be? I'm, I'm, I'm serious or, 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 or I'm high on something. And, but it just comes to show that, you know, that, that that's why I love, I love the ballroom era, you know, everybody dancing. Oh my God, it's, it's a natural, a natural high for us. But but it's turned into a concert, you know, audience most 
all of these outdoor festivals and yes. maybe they'll dance way in the back or to the side or stuff, but everybody's just looking at you and I can't pick my nose. I, I can't pick, you know, <laughs> nada because, you know, like, and so if I do this, I have a bad ear. I poked my ear like decades ago with a pencil and, and the phone rang and, and, and I turned around and the pencil went in my ear and blood came out. And I, I was thinking of Beethoven and stuff like that. Oh, man, now I can't, I can't hear. Or, hear yeah. But so I, I have to pop my ears out like on an airplane. But every time I'm on stage, I pop, pop it up. It's like, hey, he was grabbing his nose. And you see, you never win. You never win with Damn people. if you do and damn yeah, if you don't. But, but just, do you know what that's called when you, when you hold your nose and blow your ears out? Okay, let me brace myself. Yeah. yeah. You know it? what it's called? No. Valsalva. Valsalva. Yeah. Valsalva. Valsalva. Yeah. You learn something every Yeah, day. you 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 learn you know jumping out of planes uh you know you, or you're in planes all the time. You know, and there's like a Some proper promoters make me want to jump off a plane <laughs> once, but 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 there's a and there's a proper way to do it. So like Valsalva. if you if it's your if it's your your left ear, uh you you have to you 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 open up the the, the thing here, so you lean to your right and you use your left hand this way to blow. And then if you if it's your right ear, you lean to the left and you use your your right hand. Because yeah. it opens up the... You learn something new on Bumper's Balsala. Wacky Wednesday every single Valsalva. There you Balsala. go. Or <laughs> I'll forget by the time I'm heading home. But <laughs> Valsalva. <laughs> hey, anyway. Another birthday, another birthday before we get. Happy Dale. birthday, Mariposa. Richarte. Mariposa up in Irving, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth Metroplex. Dear friend of ours, and big shout out to Sammy and Happy Mireles from uh, Grand Prairie. And they're. Happy birthday, Mariposa. I got you. I got you. Hey, so what we're going to do since since t you're going to be here tomorrow night here in San Antonio, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to call the guy who puts everything together. Uh, let's let's see if he'll if he'll answer. If you can give us some uh, some some Bluetooth. A ver. Remind about cash, you know. The cash app? You know, the cash app? We're going to surprise him, guys. I bet mm -hmm. if he answers. Bumper. Hey, Chente, what's going on, man? You're live on Bumper's Wacky Wednesday with my guest here. Oh. Everybody can hear you, Mr. Gary Hobbs, uh, who's going right. to be in your neck of the woods tomorrow. So uh, Hell yeah. we just wanted to uh, give you a call to, you know, give all the listeners, the Tejano listeners, uh, what to expect for the next two weeks as we kick off Fiesta. And, of course, uh, you know, as we kick off Fiesta, Tejano Explosion's always been a part of Fiesta. So if you want to bring us up to speed on what what, what can we expect. Man, I tell you what, man, uh, full of party, full of Tejano style. It's uh, nothing but Tejano music. And uh, what can I say, man? Comida, cerveza. I don't know what to say that, but anyway. Um, you just said it. <laughs> we're ready, man. We're ready for it. Every year, the Island Explosion is always something different and, and uh, a lot of a lot of great times uh, at San Antonio. So, look, we invite a todo el mundo que nos acompañe the Island Explosion, downtown San Antonio, uh, 700 West Commerce to be exact, <laughs> Caddy Corner from uh, Market Square. So, any uh, any after after parties, uh, y'all come on down. But, uh, of course, mañana por la noche, of course, we got Mr. Gary Hobbs, Graham Herrera, and Texas Latino kicking off the festivities. And uh, I, I think that uh, they were almost sold out on the on the pre-sale, on the VIP. So we expect a, we expect a really, really good crowd tomorrow. So it's, uh, it's going to be off the chain, man. Well, well yeah, and Gary, 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 said, and he has Gary, specific... Gary said he was coming early. Wow. Gary said he was coming early. I didn't know he was coming this early. <laughs> Hey, I told you I was going to call you, but Gary Hobbs has a request, and he's not going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. So uh, make sure that there's a wooden dance floor somewhere near the stage because Gary doesn't like the concert atmosphere. He likes for, to see people dance. So whatever you got to do to make there that happen, go. Chente, that would, uh, you, Gary would be very, very happy and excited to see that tomorrow. Chente, big, Chente, big shout out, brother. We'll see you tomorrow. And we, we have our talks bumper, Chente. We, we, we got it down. We're, we're covered. Right, Chente? We're... Yes, sir. We're of good. Course. We've been friends for a lot of years. So yeah. Look forward to tomorrow, Chente. Yes, sir. Me too, brother. Thank you. All right, Chente. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, and we'll see you out there tomorrow. Okay, you better be out there, bumper. I'll be there. All right, man. All right, later. Thank you. Bye -bye. Yeah, Ch Ch Chente's a, 
Awesome guy. One thing about Chente oh, is phenomenal he, drummer, but from phenomenal singer. Oh man, my I, God, I was just telling my like, family that I, I, I literally we're having dinner, and Chente had called me earlier, and uh, I, I was I was talking to him, and then I hung up and said, "Man, it's one of the greatest vocalists he that, that is, just, he is. just he kind really of uh, is. gone under the radar." Um, but speaking of, of of Tejano Explosion, how many times have you played Gary for Tejano Explosion? <sighs> yeah, too many. <laughs> Uh, it just depends on the time of the month. Maybe not enough when I need one. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right. No, I've, I've 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 been there many many times, and because of Chente, so truly appreciate Chente. Big shout out, un abrazo. No, but, he, he, uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow night. Uh, it's gonna be a good show, man. I'm gonna be out there. Eddie's gonna be out there. Eddie's recovering from uh, four days of the Strawberry Festival, and uh, that was crazy, man. The Bull Tea Strawberry Festival was crazy. And speaking of festivals. Mm -hmm. The last time, check this out, guys. Saludos to Dickie Richard. Thank you for watching. Saludos to all the musicales out there. Um, <clears throat> the last time Gary Hobbs was on the show, watch out, Aaron Holler. Hey, Mo Aaron, boss. big shout out. <laughs> hey, talking about the los musicales, big shout out, David Lee, Joey Rodriguez, and Richie Valderrama. They're in my stomping grounds night. Uh, I think they're taking care of business, but I think they're at the Kikapula <laughs> Casino. <laughs> They, when aren't they, they there? They have so many meetings down yeah, there. Yeah, they have a lot of meetings they down there. They take care of a lot of business no, down no, there. No, but, for sure. But big shout out, Joy Rodriguez, David Ligarza, and of course, Richie Valderrama. I just saw him on the freeway stop and said hello, but they're on their way to business. Take care of business, business. down there. At Kick the, up uh, lucky at the Kick yeah. Lucky Casino. Big shout out, Aaron. Big shout out, brother. Uh, well, I already forgot what I was talking about. Dude, Gary, what was I saying? Sign what was I saying, Eddie? <laughs> What was I talking about? Fiesta? Yeah, something about Fiesta. Uh, about me being there oh, too, too no, many the, times. The, so the <laughs> festival, yes. So uh, the last time Gary was on the show. I know time, where you're going. The last time Gary was on the show. I know The last time Gary was on the show, we had a very uh, deep conversation live on the air in during the interview. And, and uh, I mentioned that I had gone to the Milwaukee Mexican Fiesta I for the last... I don't recall that. Huh? <laughs> you don't recall that. There you go. For the last two years, and I'll be back again this year, this August, I'll be and back in I Milwaukee. Said, I said, I said something like, man, they never called me, right? You did. You yeah, said they've yeah. never, they haven't called me. It would be nice to return back to Milwaukee. It's been quite yeah. some years that you had been to Milwaukee. And... And they called. <laughs> and Milwaukee called. Milwaukee was watching. Uh, they called Gary. And to all the Midwest fans from Chicago, Milwaukee, Ohio, uh, Minnesota, all that area up there, uh, Michigan, Gary Hobbs will be at the Milwaukee Mexican Fiesta this year, uh, one of our Tejano showcases uh, that, that, that the great people at the, the uh, Mexican Fiesta bring up there. So, Gary, it's going to be awesome. I'll get to hang out some more I later look, on, some beautiful for, weather. I look forward to being back at Fiesta Mexicana. I really do. It's a, it's a really nice venue and the atmosphere of people. And, and man, I, 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 I was kind of joking that they didn't call me, but then they said they did call and then they said that I missed the call or something like that. But I am, uh, you know, big shout out, fella. Hi, fella. <laughs> and since now I know their their director on a personal, on a personal, <laughs> yes. you know, I want us. We're looking forward to to being with them in August, right? Well, not everybody gets to know the the main no the, no the main person. No, I, I did. You did. You did though. That's good. In, in fact, she called me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 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 grateful, but I really am looking forward to being back at. Fiesta Mexicanas, it's uh, Milwaukee. No, it, it's it's a great time, man. Um, I, I I love the the Milwaukee atmosphere. I've been telling Tejano fans, if you got wow, we actually get a a, a comment that, that doesn't say Queen of the South is on. Shout out to Junebug Gonzalez. Hey, he June always Bug. writes Queen of the South is on. I'm out of here. Um, but but speaking on on, on Milwaukee. It's uh, it's awesome, man. I, I, I love the atmosphere. I've been telling people like uh, that go to different events, the people that travel to San Antonio for fanfare, they go to Vegas. Like if you're a true Tejano fan, add this to your bucket list of places to go and check out uh, Tejano music on a different level. 
I I saw the lineup and I'm I'm very impressed. There's a lot of Tejano. Uh, there's been, <laughs> without sounding you know um, ungrateful or something, but there's there's been some lineups in the past where you know I, I thought they could have had a little bit more Tejano, but this lineup, uh, man, I'm really looking forward to it. No, it's it's it's, it's going to be a good time. And you know what, what what's crazy, Gary, is the, the what the world doesn't get to see is it's almost like being with family. Like everybody kind of stays together, everybody hangs out together. Uh, it, it's literally like being here at the Hanukkah Explosion, except we're just in another state. You, you know what I mean? Same thing when you go to Vegas. Oh, that's what I wanted to bring up with you. Las Vegas last year, Gary Hobbs performed, and I tried to say hi to Gary Hobbs. Mm, they didn't let you in. What was it? They, 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 I couldn't get close to you. Really. Was it? And, and then I try what? to I try to catch you as you was were. Was it leaving. my security? Because <laughs> I don't have you were, security. You were trying to leave because I don't have security. And there was probably about I don't know fifteen women trying to get an autograph. I I. And so I was just like, uh, yeah, maybe next time I'll, I'll talk to Gary next. I actually walked by and said, "Hey, security great show." Was, security was tight. <laughs> He has an all-woman security staff. <laughs> all-woman security staff. Uh, speaking of stuff, uh, Eddie, what, what do we got? We got we got a few sponsors yep. to, to mention. Uh, let's see. All right, man. Speaking of veterans, my good friend, retired Sergeant Major Oscar Nellis, for all the veterans out there looking to uh, get their disability claims. He's uh, wrong. You know, yeah, put put up. You, you you want you want a little bit more money, or you think you're not getting what you deserve? You got to hit up my boy Oscar Nellis, or take a picture of the QR code. It'll send you to all his information. You can give him a call at 951-388-4072, and he will take care of you. Carnitas Urapan, 945 South Austin Street at the Matador Plaza in Seguin, Texas. Every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, some of the best carnitas you can fly. Flying? <laughs> Tengo hambre. The best carnitas you can find right there in Seguin, Texas. Un saludo to Carnitas Urapan. And then, of course, our good friend, the Gibster, Mr. Gilbert Alaman. For all the artists out there looking for somebody to make you some T-shirts, cap, cancelcillos, calcetinas, what, whatever you need that, to have your logo. If you're a small business, you're looking for to put your logo on something and maybe give it to your employees. Or if you're an artist, you're looking to sell uh, merchandise, hit up Gilbert Man. He can make it happen. 832-546-5856. Oh, check this out. Our good friend, Mr. Jim Luna and Quarter Room Productions, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, April 27th, Pearland, Texas at Independence Park. VIP is absolutely sold out. Uh, the only thing left is general admission. Uh, there's all the sponsors right there. Aranda's uh, Bakery and their, their, their restaurants are a big sponsor this year. We're going to have Mike Gonzalez and the Iconics, Marcos Orozco, David Lee Garza y Los Musicales. And then last but not least, our good friends, La Mafia, right? Headlining Mafia Mania in Pearland, Texas, Saturday, April 27th, hosted by yours truly, Bumper Gomez. Looking forward to seeing everybody from the Houston area come out and have a good time next Saturday in Pearland, Texas. How about this one? Those are two guys that I'd like to talk about in a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Frank Salazar, right? Un saludo to my good friend Frank Salazar. He's your uh, good friend? Why? Well, he's he's Frank? he's he's uh he's an acquaintance. He he's an acquaintance. He okay. he he's never done me wrong. He's never done. He's always taking care of me. Okay. So the Memorial Weekend Bash, La Mafia, Duelo, Los Musicales, Signo, Jay Perez, The Iconics, Masore, Lucky Joe. Speaking of Lucky Joe, speaking of Frank Salazar, and next week he's on here right now. Saludos. Eh? Te mando saludos. Lucky, Lucky Joe. Joe. Lucky Joe is our special guest next Dear week. Dear friend. Right Lucky here on Joe. Bumper's Wacky Wednesday, along with Mr. Frank Salazar. We're going to talk about the Memorial Weekend Bash and what to expect. So, guys, if you guys haven't rented your rooms, I just got a phone call today from some friends in Victoria. You need to get your rooms right now because they're going really, really quick. Uh, it's a three-day event, and, you know, Victoria's not a big, big city. Uh, it's a, it's big enough, but it's not a, a it's not a big city. So make sure you guys reserve your rooms. If you have any information, you call 361-237-0351 for Salazar Promotions, and they will take care of you. Big shout out, Lucky Joe. 
Lucky Joe, man. That that that's the the man of the uh, the last few weeks in Tejano music, man. And then last but not least, the Tejano Explosion, right? The Tejano Explosion again. Our good friend Gary Hobbs is going to be there tomorrow. We have, I mean, it's eight days, right? And it's like eight days. Right, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm-hmm. Sunday. So eight days of Tejano music. Uh, your favorite artists are going to be coming through. Just make sure you check the schedule and, and see what day you're going to go down. The day that you have to go is tomorrow. Tomorrow you have to be there. Gary Hobbs, Ramadera, Texas Latino. Hey, those are some dancing Those are some dancing groups right oh, there, yeah. man. Yep, yep, you, yep. So uh, the dance floor better be ready, Gary. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, um, what are some of your pet peeves of the industry, man? Ooh, pet peeves. You need a drink for this or no? You're good? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> pet peeves, pet peeves. Uh, well, there's promoters out there that won't call you for all the big events, but they call you for when they have no budgets. <laughs> <laughs> so... So some of you promoters out there, <laughs> no pet peeves, pet peeves, uh, man. There's just too many things. That, you know, um, what's one of your they, big ones? Well, they tell you to be there at eleven in the morning for sound check, and we're there, and they're not ready, or the other two bands didn't show up, and so now I gotta wait or stuff like that. You know, everybody just do your job, just do your job. You've committed to it, uh, unless something unforeseeable happens, because. That does happen. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Right now, with construction everywhere, you know, uh, you're you're stuck in traffic sometimes about an hour, and Lord forbid it's an accident or something. It, it could be even longer. But you know, again, if you're early, what? You're, you're on late. time. Yeah, if you're, you're early, time, you're on time. You're, yeah. you're late. That's right. And, That's right. And so, but uh, nah, pet peeves. It's it happens in any kind of business. But uh, live music has. You only got one shot at it, you know. It's not like you're at a job nine to five and something that you could have done in the morning. Well, I'll do it at two, three. When you got to perform, you only got one shot at it. And if if you're just there uh, 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 an hour show or an hour fifteen or an hour and a half, that's what you got. And you know, don't don't go under, don't go over. No, a lot I, of people I, love to get into it, and and that happened at several <laughs> at several fe- festivals. But you know, then, then where you the, go over, the, or the band goes over, yeah, but. Uh, and and you just do your time because somebody else got to be up. You know, when we did Nor- Nortex in Monterrey mm-hmm. uh, last year, uh, right before we go on, you know, they said, they said, Gary, <laughs> Gary, <laughs> tienes 45 minutos. Puedes terminar 43, 44 minutos. Pero no te pases 45 minutos. Evite la vergüenza que te vamos a pagar el equipo en 46 minutos. So... You know, wow. evi- evita la vergüenza that they're going to turn you off right at 46 minutes. So you start at 40, you get the encore, you can do one more. You don't yeah, back I, the I did like, I, I hit it like about 43, 44 minutes, but it's the first time I had been in Nortex and uh, it's just massive stage and stuff. But, uh, but, but again, you know, there, there's people that want to hog up. But no, no, you do your set and do the best that you can and, and get off because there's somebody next, you know? Right, right. And if, and if you're headline, then make room for those other bands because they're coming up before you, so. Have you, have you ever gone over? Um, no, no, I, I'm, I'm a stickler. I, I'll start waving this phone like this at, at the guys, like, <laughs> it better start right at 1030, you know, like, and it sounds like a joke or like I'm a, some kind of dictator or stuff, but, but I'm not, it's, it's serious, I, you know. And, and that's what we, the people pay for. Like, if you're going to do a full, you know, hour and a half set. I get it on with some DJs because I, I get it. You know, it's their, their, it's their set. But I'm coming up at 1030, and you're, you're at 1029. You're, you just started a song at 1030. Done. Yeah, cut it off. Cause, cause I want Mute people, that. Well, I want people to know that, hey, Gary said he's you're going on at 1030. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know yes. for sure, man. What's wrong with that? There, there's, that's how everybody should be. Well, you know. That, that, that's, that's how everybody should be. Uh, Gary... I saw some video of you playing um, two weekends ago or last weekend in the Dallas area. <clears throat> the mesquite thing. The mesquite the, thing. The solar. The right. The, the solar. There you go. Yeah. So so the the solar thing, <clears throat> um, and I saw a famous uh, keyboard player. 
He ain't that famous. Hey, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, so so I saw Brando up there with you. And and we all know Brando plays for, for uh, Joe Lopez and Grupo Mas. Uh how was that, dude? I, I know you guys are are, are good friends. Uh, you know, you you guys well, have probably known in, each other for in, a long time. Well, in high school, we were like brothers. You know, we met in high school, and uh, and then we had a we had a vision of doing Tejano music and and being lifers in music and and although we went different paths and stuff like that, but he's he he was phenomenal then, you know, in high school, and we continue to be good friends. We worked so many times on and off together and so it helps me tremendously and it helps with him but uh and we recorded on and off throughout the years and but we're we're good friends and so um uh, we ran into something with our keyboard player and i uh i saw brando doing a uh a, a, a video i'm sorry he was at some performance he was helping chente barrera so then i knew uh, two, three things were coming up. So uh, I, I sent him a text. I go, hey, superstar, where you at? And he goes, I'm coming back from San Antonio. Can I call you uh, tomorrow? And I go, sure. And I said, he said, one o'clock. And I go, no, make it 2.30. And uh, and so he calls me the next day. Um, I go, where are you at? And he says, I'm at home. He goes, I'll be there in a minute. I went to go pick him up. I, we haven't gone riding like that since high school with a six-pack of slits and ruffles. And <laughs> 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 and uh, and and I told him kind of some things that were happening with scheduling and stuff. And I go, look, I saw you, you know, helping out Chente. And I go, I may need some help on some days. He go, compadre, I'm, you know, I got some time off right now. He go, I, I, I'd love to help you. So so we were blessed to take, excuse me, Brando. And because he's phenomenal. He's a keyboard extraordinaire, right? And the thing is that I've been hearing him play like that since he was in high school. And, of course, he got... He was really good, but but he just got better and Way better, better, right? Yeah, but yeah. but he's phenomenal at the keyboard. So, but we're the best of friends. We're like family. We you know we disagree on things, you know, and and we agree on a lot of things. But we we had this vision of being you know musicos and being on the road and and always Tejano music. Brando could have played any any style of music or other genre, but but he loves Tejano. We're we're big Latin breed fans, you know. And I'm a Jimmy Edward, a Adalberto Gallegos, David Maris fan and so we were listening to to them while we were in high school and so they're the ones that influenced us but uh yeah brando helped us and he he's he did a fantastic job no i i, I don't come cheap though no <laughs> well, well i mean when, when i when, when i when i saw the, when i saw the video uh, i i was like mm -hmm. I, I was i was like damn dude gary has brando up there can you imagine can you like I, right away i just thought like a permanent brando in gary hobbs's band would like and 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 not taking away from your your current uh keyboard player but i mean dude you, yeah you, brando's phenomenal but uh you know I, I i've been blessed to have a lot of really good keyboards throughout the years and and it started with brando because we started this band together but uh and then that's when i met hector gutierrez like in 83 hector started recording with us at hacienda records in corpus and and we've been friends <laughs> good friends like brothers since then. So I've had Brando Mireles and Hector Gutierrez. I, I was blessed to have the late J Jerry De La Rosa play with us keyboards. And, and Gabriel Gil, who's been playing with us on the keyboard, he's an extraordinary keyboard player. But uh, uh, there's others that have picked up the slack and, and supported us. So I've, I've been a blessed man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And, and, and Gary, are you, are you pretty, like, so, so you, earlier we spoke on you know on the eight the late eighties early nineties, and you know as I as I do this show more and more often, uh, I, I love the stories. Sometimes the stories come out when we're not when we're not recording, right? Um, and some people just the names not, have been changed. To protect well, the well, no, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, exactly <laughs> what you just said. But uh, to hear the stories of people who like the 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 actual battles. And and the uh, and the uh, like the the people that screwed us along. The well, way. no, 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 no. <laughs> what I mean is like the bands that that like hey, if there was two bands playing on the same stage, don't you touch my shit. The, yeah. Don't you come yeah. over here. Don't you I like s like I, I mean see, I'm talking I roadies fighting. I see these days where all these young bands and there's so much camaraderie and and a lot of love between them. And I'm thinking to myself as, as a Christian, I go that well, that's nice, man. That's you know, but but uh, it, it's just the fact the day that they go full time, you're talking about a bunch of 
a lot of musicians that are, you know, part-timers in a sense, they may be at music every day, you know, but they have another job too. Yeah. So, but, but if they had to depend on just music, the day that that happens, then everything's off, everything is off on the table now. Because now it's like it's them getting that gig or you getting that gig. And, and so when these other big bands that I won't I won't mention their names, you know, but you know, Mafia and Moss and stuff. When I <laughs> when I came on and, and I had a, a we had a lot of, you know, we did have a lot of static between us. It took me a, it took me a long time, bump a long time to kind of like, man, I just wanted to fit in. I wanted to be friends with these guys. I, I wanted to be part of the. I, I wanted to part, be part of the, the industry, and then I get I get screwed. But then it took me a long time to just kind of like forget that and 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 kind of think like forgive it. But the truth is, the the more time passed on, the more I thought about it. Man, these guys were taking care of business, and so it's it's not right for you to screw that other band and you know. Uh, they're, they're going to make $800 and the opening band and, and they got there late because their, their, their vehicle broke down. And so now the, the headliner is charging them, you know, the $800 to, to use the equipment. Okay. Well, it's not the, it's not the headliner's fault that that happened to the opening band, but you could kind of have a little bit of compassion, show a little kind of mercy. Right. Right. But that happened to me numerous times, but, but today I see so much, you know, I see a lot of love, and and that's great, and and I hope it continues like that. But but I see who they are, and 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 they're they're not living off of just one paycheck music. And when that happens, you you have to start looking at business very differently. Uh, so 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 you're saying you're saying that, you know, b- back in the in the early nineties, like eighties, eighties. I mean, music was all everybody did. So you, you that was your that was your paycheck. If they got it, they, they just took money out of your pocket because they got the gig, and you, and you did it. I mean, and, it's, and, that's, that's, no, you, and, and no you're right. I mean, because well, people now, if they have another job, they have other money to fall back on. They're not so, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm aggressive yeah, about it. I used to pat myself on the back a little bit and say, I'm the last of the Tejano badasses because, I mean, I, not only did I drive to the gigs, but I. I got there and I set up the equipment. I set up lights and I learned how to hook up 220, which almost killed me a couple of times. But then I was in the studio and I was booking it and I was managing it myself. And but uh, you know, you you start doing all of that and and some of these singers, you know, they they've never really booked themselves. And so when you start talking to promoters, you know, and then they tell you like, oh man, I you know I'm I'm gonna have to count the show. And why? Well, because the headliner doesn't want you in the opening act. But what does that have to do? You you call me. It was yeah yeah yeah. But well, they they push their weight. You know, they push their weight, and they don't want somebody. You rub somebody the wrong way. And, and today, they uh, hardly that hardly happens today now. You know, promoters they you sign a contract and they you know you they, they you stick, follow through. You know, you follow the rules. But back then it was like you get canned like four or five days before the you know. And then it makes you look like you didn't show up, but it was a headliner who was giving you the hello, <laughs> welcome to the business. <laughs> there you to guys, the, you heard it NFL. right there. You 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 heard it right there from from Gary himself. So so Gary, and and you know earlier you said a comment um, that that every time I, I, hope, I, I hope they're taking notes because yeah no 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 yeah you you, you said a <laughs> comment and I, I hear it a lot in the business especially from senior. Uh, I'm talking about military jargon from senior artists that's been around. You know what I mean? Uh, about paying dues, and and you know you you you've seen the ins and outs. Uh, uh, like like when you just said you were on the stage and you're you're trying to find the promoter and you keep the eye on the promoter the whole night to make sure that he's not taking. Yeah, off. I, I'm I'm looking at him and I'm looking at the parking lot. His car's moving. <laughs> So, so with saying that, Gary, that's happened to you in years before. Oh yes, 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 yes. Any band that says that that hasn't happened to them, they're they're shooting the shit. <laughs> you know, it it happens. You know, but uh, I mean, it, the uh, the more experienced you are, you take care of business. You know, but, right? But uh, but that happens a lot. You know, and and there's promoters out there that they're trying to bank it at the door and. 
And, and it's so easy for them to say, well, if you're that famous, well, then, you know, take the door. And then all of a sudden you tell them, oh, take the damn door. And he goes, oh, no, I can't do that. You know, because... Oh, no, que no yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but, you know, every band has its geographic areas, you know, that right. they, they do very well. And then there's towns that you haven't been back there. And so don't expect to go back and think you're George Strait or something and, right. and fill up the arena, you know. I mean, we were never an arena band, okay? But we were the ballroom stuff, and and but you don't hit on some of these cities, and and you haven't been there in five or seven years, or or let alone fifteen years, and don't expect to go back and and pull weight like that. But uh, you got to take care of business, and promoters are, you know, they're they're human too, and and they're they're some that really mean well, and they're trying to make it happen, but. But if the cards fall short, you know, they're, you know, high tell it too, you know. You, you know, uh, next week we're going to have a promoter on and, and we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that. But uh, I haven't really had too many promoters on the show to speak on their behalf well, and, two, and put them in the corner. And No, and, there's two sides of the story. Yeah, yeah, but, no, no, no. But but I don't think, uh, like, like to, to us... Uh, typical Tejano fans, like you don't like me, like uh, now I know now because I've been doing this. But uh, well, look, look at look at this. You you can ask anybody, but you do something with the city or the county, right? Okay, and then they tell you, uh, oh man, the weather's gonna look bad. Oh, it, it rained. Uh, well, you you should have had uh, an event insurance. You know, if you're going through a city entity, you know, and and a lot of them will, will say that they they didn't. But, but if you've got a contract signed, then, you know, some of these bands, most of these bands, they can't have an attorney on retainer. And, and some of the, t- the attorneys, they look at, so you want me to, for, for $800 or for $1,200? Like, <laughs> yeah, but when your contract's for nine grand, you yeah. know, the, yeah. well, well, let me see what I, I'm not really an entertainment attorney, but I can, you know, everybody, what's in it for everybody? So you learn quick in this business that you got to take care of us. You know, I got to take care of me. But at the same time, you don't try and screw everybody else because they, they need to work too. But one band does not make the whole industry, right? No, I, I, I agree. I mean, uh, you know, I, that, that's why yeah, I love the conversations we have, even off camera, just on the phone, uh, whenever. I, I always learn something from you. Believe it or not, it was like, supposed I, to be a happy, happy podcast today. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I you, you, you talking yeah, about I, music. <laughs> I actually told, I actually told Eddie. I told Eddie. I was like, Eddie, I'm kind of nervous too because I talked to Gary on Sunday and he's like, "You better be ready." I got some stuff to get. I was like, "Oh shit, man!" Nah, we better just be, we, shooting we, the, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> um, Eddie, do we have any? We, we have any comments from from out in the in the in the real world? No, nobody uh, wants to comment on no, the promoters. No, no, no comments. No comments. Nobody wants to piss off these promoters. Uh, let's see. Uh, what does she say? You're the only person that can get behind the scenes to see. What the heck? I don't know what that was about. Anything, Eddie? Uh, just shout out going out to everybody. You are from Houston, Texas. You, H Town. H Town, Rocky Gonzalez, Un Salud is watching on YouTube. I always forget about the YouTube people. Don't forget about the YouTube. Yeah, people. man, and the YouTube's been growing quite a bit. So, Un Salud to everybody watching. Uh, uh, you know, I remember seeing Gary play keyboards at the Po Teach Strawberry Festival. Yeah, that happened a couple of times where, you know, again a keyboard player didn't show up or late, and and so I I start playing a. There was a span there back in 2002 or three or something, and my compadre Jaime Sama, a bass player, he, he remembers everything. He's got that memory where, oh, no, we recorded that song in 98. <laughs> but but there was a time there, 2002 or three, where I, there was like 19 months where I was playing keyboards and singing, and I thought I was getting away with it, but uh, some of my promoter friends said, ah, oh, Gary, people are used to seeing you in the front. And I go, I, I just stand there. So, just, Gary, you, where wait. would you put the keyboards? Uh, in front of me. <laughs> no, no, no. I know in front of you, but like. No, like, to the side. No, I never put up. Like Cali Carranza, you remember Cali? Yeah, you'd put right it right in the, in the middle, center. Right yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I used to go from the side. Yeah. I could never do that center thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, keyboard that's, that's right too, in the front yeah, heck yeah, yeah man so. uh, let's see Mario Mendoza big hello to my classmate from Oklahoma Mario Proud Mendoza of you, buddy. dear friend of ours He's high school he was a football star and he went on to college and stuff he's coached 
Salud para la familia Mendoza. Got a lot of love for the Mendoza family. And, and Mario, ends up in Oklahoma? Yes. Yeah, he was up in Oklahoma somewhere there. Oklahoma. Is there less in Oklahoma? I said, Oklahoma, Mario, I... Get back. Yeah, hey, there is you there, go. Is there, is there Rasa in Oklahoma? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yeah? yeah? Well, there's Rasa. They're everywhere. everywhere. We're everywhere now. <laughs> We're everywhere Big now. Big Mario. Uh, un saludo to everybody watching from Greeley, Colorado. Um, let's see. Rani Cardenas says, all bands need to charge more for all events. Well, we say that, and then, uh, you know, we got we to gotta have people. Th th there has to be a give and take, Right. No, uh, but he, 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 here's he my thing. that holds the budget controls. <laughs> but but he, he, here's my thing, uh, too, Gary. You Like, you go, I, I find old posters. Um, like, growing up in Beville. I grew up in small town Beville, Texas, right? And uh, we have a, a, a store there on the west side. It was called it's CBS Grocery Chalice. And that's where you could buy your pre-sale tickets. So I remember when you would open the door every week or every other week, there was a poster Gary Hobbs, Mas, La Mafia, Little Joe, right? And pre-sale tickets in 1989, 1990, 1991 were like 12 to 20 bucks. Pre-sale, pre-sale tickets. And now right? they're eight and 10. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, like I, I'm, I'm trying to understand where the economy. No, Gary, because we, we want to get a lot of people in. So we're going to do $5 before nine. I go, oh my God. Okay, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Well, so, well, so, so, where, where, how, how does, how does that work? Um, and then you know, you hear what, what I hate to hear is like, oh, the handles are cheap. I don't, I don't think the handles are cheap. I, 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 I just, I don't I'm know. I, I haven't no, but I haven't figured out. I haven't figured out why, why the Tejano music fans don't like to pay. Like, if you go over twenty bucks, it's tough. And, and, and you go to the regional Mexican uh, things, and they'll pay a hundred to one hundred and forty bucks cash, like nothing. Mm, they're they're not paying the same tax bracket as we are, you know. That's just fact. But but why do you why do you think we're like that? Why do you think we? Mm. It's it's true. Like we we go into some towns and and we're charging twenty five and thirty and. And then they'll they'll say something like, you know, hey, we just we just saw them last year at this other place for for fifteen ago. Man, they don't they don't put the word inflation into the equation, right? Inflation. I mean, l look at those prices in ninety ninety one, and and when let's they consider the golden era of Tejano music the the nineties, right? Early, mid nineties stuff like that, and 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 we're still charging twenty five thirty and. But, uh, you know, everything at the club, uh, including liquor and alcohol, everything has gone up. Except, you know, except, except the, the admission. Ticket price. Uh, yeah, ticket price. Now, when you, you, you can be popular and you can be famous, and at the same time, you can be not in demand, you know, and, and prove that, you know, I have friends of mine that are phenomenal and they're, they're famous and they're icons but they're not in demand. And so the ticket price, if they're going to go just from the door, I have, I have friends of mine and, oh, Gary, he, he takes a lot of door gigs. Uh, hello, <laughs> click. Yeah, but the door gigs can, there's, there's no ceiling on it. But if yeah. you're going to take the gig and uh, I better take the 3,500 or the 4,000, well, then, then that's who you are, right? But, uh, but for people of Kappa's, cap us off at, at, at a certain price. Um, it just depends on geographical area because the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is kicking, man, and Houston, San Antonio, I've seen a, an uptick, you know, uptrend. And, but there there's towns that, uh, you know, they, they're not used to paying the $25, $30. Yeah. Why? Well, they don't get to see uh, a lot of events like that, you know, but, but it's true. They go to something regional mexicano and, they're paying fifty dollars like nothing, and or hundred dollars plus VIP seating. Yeah, and, yeah, man. But you know, it's and una what they they buy a whole bottle for the whole thing, one hundred fifty bucks. A different genre, you know. It's different. Our audience, Tejanos, they love to hear a lot of different music. Uh, uh, I can tell you, like someone that supports us will support Tejanos. They'll they'll love to boom George Strait or country. 
you know, or boom, 70s, 80s. So el, el mexicano listens to mexicano. That's it. That's it, baby. So, you know, we and, add a little bit more spice into our life, right? So. And yeah, and, 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 you know, that you talked about music, um, Gary. I, I, I really want Gary Hobbs' take on Tejano music. Uh, we, sometimes we bring up stuff on here where we say, like, uh, Tejanos like their music in a square, Right. Um, anything that fits inside that square is Tejano music. <clears throat> anything that starts being a little bit different, they, they, oh, that's that's not that's not Tejano. Or the Tejano the Tejano fans don't don't they don't appreciate it or they don't like it because it doesn't fit. It's not fitting in that realm that they're that they're that they're you know that square that that we're used to. But you know you you mentioned you know the eighties the nineties and. Uh, uh, you, you said earlier how how things have changed, right? The, you know everything's changed. Well, music changes. Has to. It, it has. It, right. It has to. But why is it that you don't? It, why is it that you think our fans they don't they don't for some reason they haven't evolved that the Hano music fans haven't evolved with some of the newer stuff that that's come out. I think that Tejano audiences are just very endeared and they love what they love. And it's when they love you and they support you. I mean, look, I've, I've said this a couple of times, but but when you go listen to The Temptations sing My Girl and 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 it's not the original guy, you know, it kind of like, but but then they play it and, and they'll, they'll ad lib on it. And instead of, if I'm going to pay to see The Temptations, I want to hear My Girl and, and I want to hear it how they recorded it. Don't add lib on it and then, you know, change it up. And well, we're used to certain, you know, styles and, and we're endeared to, to musicians. But, and then once you have a, an image of that band, you know, it's going to be la miras y te vas a acordar y maldito amor y amame besame. And if I start changing, if I don't play some of those songs during the night, they're going to say, like, and, I, and we've been playing a, a lot of the new music and, and, and I wrote half of it. And, and they'll kind of dance to it, you know, but they know that other music. The older music, and it's funny because they'll they'll tell me like, no, Gary, play play the old school, and I've, to them they they think the old school is la mirada, sama me besa me so Old school to me was back in the eighties, you know, uh, tu foto en la pared, uh, te voy te voy a enseñar a querer, quiero ser tu amor. Uh, um, uh, oh my God, the the seventies stuff, right? Uh, but uh, the eighties, I'm sorry, but uh, but to to them the old school is the nineties. Well, they're used right. to listening to the to the nineties. And I think that's where we had more exposure and they want to, I swear, I think sometimes I, I, I say this without, without, uh, with, without patting myself on the back. But I think if I played La Miraz 30 minutes nonstop, I don't think I'll hear too many complaints. And go, <laughs> God bless. I mean, I, you're I mean, probably I, right. I Gary. Love, you start I to love, think about that. I love singing those songs, but, but we have a lot of new music that I, really enjoy and 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 i wrote and so te jure el quedaría from the new cd but uh, i wrote six from the from the cd sin fin and um, and and on the uh, second to the last one lo que amo i wrote six songs on that and right now i'm at a writer's block i i need to get back into the studio but uh, but uh people are endeared to the old stuff right and but when you have a Okay. We're falling apart again. <laughs> okay. But when you have a new band come on and you see them for the first time and, and they play something that just gravitates to people, okay, boom, people just gravitated and that's what they want to hear and that's who you are. But but I think uh, today's young artists are so so talented that they can sing anything in, in Tejano and turn it into cumbias and then they try and do hip hop or, I mean, R&B stuff and, and in English and 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 they're that good, but but it, it's not letting them you know kind of like plant the seed and create the identity, and uh, people will argue with me that's fine, but but I think you need to create the identity and then and then venture off and showcase what you can do. But uh, again, it's people they're endeared to you, and they think that that's Tejano, and I thought Tejano to me was was uh, when I was playing Tejano, it, I thought it was all about. Uh, to me, it was all, all about the beat and the instrumentation. It's not Tejano because I'm from Texas, right? It's and a lot of people know. Yo soy Tejanos, yeah, because dicen que, que eres de Texas. But 
but I thought it was it, it was a culture. It wasn't uh, it wasn't the state, but but music has to evolve, you know. And so, you know, I mean, today <laughs> it's like the people that were just playing banda and and they were playing. Uh, look at what Frontera's been doing and and all the collaborations that are happening are like they're they they are trendsetters and they are bringing new music and stuff and I think we mentioned Carol G last time we were here and mm -hmm. and so man that was that was a cumbia just with an electric guitar no bajo sexto and a and a keyboard Keyboards. and so is somebody going to capitalize on that well I think the new artists they I think they're so talented and I think they they've had uh, examples from other artists and in the past it's just like I I give all the props to all those that came before us you know and I mean from Don Freddy and you know I mean Sonny Osuna all of them but again Latin breed the Royal Jesters are that's that, that's, that's your that's, stuff that's right here <laughs> you know? and so so I, I, I'm sure that people look at uh, other genres and they they they're trying to make it their their own so Music's got to change. It, it just has to. It's and we have to, to be accepting of it. Well, you know, I, I, I could give you the I could give you the flip flop on that, you know, because, you know, when we when we want to venture out on something, you know, pe people don't really it's not so much that does the Tejano audience our Tejano audience support it is do these other audience support that if it's good, then it should play it. Now, when they say don't be haters. Don't be haters on the new hybrid stuff and or the new Tejano. I hear that word, new Tejano. I go, yeah. And and but but if if you're not hating, it's not hate on that band. It's radio. It's like why isn't Mexican radio playing our cumbias? It's in Spanish. You know? Okay, so our Tejano stations are going after the demographics. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Again, it's, it's about the almighty dollar. It's about taking care of business. And love makes the world go round. No, it seems like it's money. So, so are you saying, like, in a sense of, like, uh, Mexican radio stations will play, uh, or, or, or Tejano radio stations will play a Mexican song when it's convenient for them because that's, you know, well, a, a the, popular the, song. The but, but not vice versa. A popular Tejano song won't be played no. on... on uh, no. On a Mexican station? Yeah, on a Mexican station. Yeah. It won't. You know, you 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 ask these questions about Tejano and against other genres, and if you if you ask Duelo and Intocable, Signo, if you ask them, are you Tejano? Just wait till you hear their answer. You know, but Tejano stations are playing them, but they're playing them because it's really great music. It's great music. You well, know, so, I've heard from so that on interviews say they're, they're, that that they don't they don't come out. Oh, we're we're Tejano, no, but. But they throw the word in there that that you know their their influences are are the sure, base. Their influences, but if you ask me, Gary, well, how do you categorize? I think it's Tejano. I've always been Tejano. So if you ask them, sometimes uh, again, Mexican stations, you know, if, if the song is that good, mm -hmm. uh, it takes money behind it, get it on, and then you let the audience. And once the audience accepts it, then then it's it's open season, right? You know, but. But I've always had that against, you know, Mexican radio that they don't give us the same opportunity as some Tejano stations give a Mexican band, you know, their music. Now, that's now, a great point. Now, well, no, but when you're talking to someone like Ramon Ayala, I mean, you are talking Don, you know, Don Ramon, Ramon Ayala, the, the king, man, the, the king. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there, there you go. But, but if you're if you're playing, you know, if you're playing some of these songs today, then and. If if you're charting Carol G, it was Carol G's not in our industry, right? But it's a great song. But you're saying she's not going to show up to the award ceremony at the Hano Award ceremony. It, it would be great if she did, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> the Hano, my, my the Hano song of the my year. My grandson would love that. My <laughs> 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 grandson loves Carol G, you know. Nah, who and I, 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 thought she, I, I think she's phenomenal too. But uh, but it's just uh, you know, they used to tell you, hey, stay in your lane. You know, but we have so much talent in this industry that you shouldn't hate on 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 Tejano bands venturing out and and doing a, a couple of new things. And I've said this before in 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 ninety five ninety six when we came out with the Vas Acordar, it was the slowest tempo I had ever done. Da 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 da. 
da 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 I had never done anything that slow, and it just took off. And nobody hated on us back then. It charted everywhere, you know. And so when you hear today, you know, a, a, a band doing, you know, um, radio playing Frontera or Carol G, or and now it's with Shakira, and and then I heard rumors through the grapevine of Frontera doing something with J Lo. I don't know if that came through or not. She needs something right, right now. She's, she's on the. She's on the download. J-Lo needs something right now. It ain't been after. <laughs> <laughs> you see the tabloids too, huh? Oh, my goodness. No, but but uh, Tejano music has got to change. And I think that, you know, the audience is going to follow what they like, you know. But, uh, again, we, we've changed too since the 80s and the 90s. We've, you know, listened to the last CD. and But you got to change or else it just becomes, I mean, monotonous. And, and, and it's one thing to sing Las Miradas every night, but... But we gotta throw in other things, and when the when it's uh, when there's an opportunity, we may do a country song, we may do an oldie, we may. You have to, you know. It's What's just, your favorite oldie song to play? Oldie, oldie like in Tejano that we play? No, just like like not mm. not not necessarily like when I say oldies, like I, I speak of like the Southern California oldies, like a, oh, uh, well, say in English. Oh my God, there was a, a time there in the eighties we were. We were doing a bunch of a, a bunch of English tunes and on the records too, so so when I hear today like I oh, know they that band they, they do a lot of English stuff and dude I I did the same thing on the first CD we did uh, give it to me baby by Rick James and then on the second album we did uh, Maniac Michael Sambello. Yeah, it's it's somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I, I, Gary, yeah. can you give us a little piece of Maniac? Just a still time girl on a Saturday night. You've got to hear it. It's, it, it, it kicked ass. Hey, 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 Gary. And, 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 and do, you, do, do you miss? Do the you Spanics? miss? Well, uh, not just the Spanish, but I'm saying do you? Because, dude, the 80s and 90s, like the Tejano bands, they're, they're like you knew. When those guys walked into a place, that those dudes are the band. Right away. Now it's kind of like, oh, hey, so what the... Well, I guess he's with yeah. He's carrying a symbol. I thought he's a symbol bag. He's he's with the band, right? D different strokes, do, do, for different do, do, right? But do do you miss the do you miss the <clears throat> outfits? Um, I still wear the outfits. <laughs> I still I still look bad. <laughs> no, I I understand what you're saying, but you know times have changed. Uh, you know it's funny because I was getting ripped a couple of years ago. Ah, Gary Hobbs, he doesn't let anybody wear tanny shoes, and well, I don't. But but I did wear them in in the eighties. I was wearing white capas. It was the in thing, right? But then your band grows and they you have an, an image and and image becomes reality. And so while you're working with this band, was you you know I've mentioned it before. You you can go sitting with David Ligar and the Musicales when when they you know they need somebody you know spot in, but. If you join DLG, you're you're gonna be dressing. Cowboy. You know, you're gonna use their theme. You know? Yeah. Same thing with us. We, you know, I don't allow headbands and I don't allow <laughs> white tennies. And well, well, I I didn't burst out laughing because it's it, it. I didn't want to be rude, but you said a word that just mm -hmm. uh, the light bulb in my head turned on. This week, somebody posted on Facebook like, name a brand of shoes that you wore. Growing up, that kids nowadays have no clue about. Capa. Capa. <laughs> there you go. Hey, did you know you could we change the colors? You no, could change no, the colors no, of the no, triangles? No, no. But I used to, there was a store back then, Chess King. And so we used to buy our, and then I went through the, the Miami Vice look, you know, and so uh, with, with tennis shoes. So we, we went through that and, you know, uh, clothing fads come and go and stuff like that. But. But looking badass is a certain look. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. And and, and and Gary, um, I don't think I touched on it last time, but I wanna I wanna I wanna say it respectfully. Um we had Bobby Polido on here. I, I, I'll attack it like that. We had Bobby Polido on here and, and I told him, I said, man, how did it feel to be a heartthrob of like all these ladies all over the place and that was bobby gary to this day i mean i 
I don't. I've never seen a concert where you don't have ladies of all ages screaming the, and hollering, and you know what I mean. The, like the popular one right now is, my mom used to love you, and <laughs> my wife and I get a kick out of that one. And I, I'm, I'm I'm bracing myself. I'm bracing myself to hear my grandma used to love you. My great grandma used to love you. <laughs> but. Uh, it's it, what a what a blessing to have people that are teenagers to come and tell me, you know, uh, at some venues that man, we came because we were growing up and and our parents would put you know the carnasas on, on the weekend and or, or or my mom doing the chores and she would put your music and it just it's, they're reminiscing they're going back in time and and what a blessing to be part of something like that right that that they remember their childhood and. And now they're in their late twenties or you know mid thirties, and which which is my children's age, you know, and so uh, so I get that I get that often now that uh, my mom loves your music, and but uh, hey, I, I think that you uh, again remember we're talking about business, but but there comes a, a time where you don't think of, of a lot of things uh, on the road. It's just like you know we. At one time, we had 16 employees on the road, and so an 18-wheeler with, you know, six road crews, and 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 they came in all sizes and, and ethnic, you know, but, uh, and then musicians, and so, so many things happening on the road, and, and performances and stuff that you don't, you really don't, uh, I, I can understand sometimes when somebody say, oh, I saw that artist, and, and I, he just got off, and he left, he didn't, he didn't say hi, and Man, I, I, I always make time. I always make time. And even like that, I'll get somebody at the very end after 40 minutes. And hey, 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 Gary, no seas... <laughs> no seas mamon, Gary. No seas mammon. <laughs> you know, like, and so, and I, and I go back because they're going to, rem- instead of the whole good show, you know, that we try to put on, they're going to remember that little thing at the end, right? And so I, I do go back, but I, I, I can understand somebody's been on the road three, four days and they're tired and, and they just may have gone through a terrible set with equipment or the promoter mm-hmm. or stuff like that. So it, it is, escapes our, our mind sometimes that, man, the, the number one part is that audience. And to me, it's that audience, but to make them dance. And so it's a concert thing. It's like I can't make them dance, you know? So to me, that's that's the... I think that's the number one uh, battle that I go through. You know. So back to the original question: Did did did, did, did was that hard? Uh, um, no, there. there to, like, to, 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 for like no. like, I, I mean, you're married, so it, th- to me that that's a that's a difficult. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying in a bad way, but you know when you're a, a, a married man and you got all these women just screaming and and no telling throwing what. On the stage uh, back in the 90s, uh, uh, R- R- Ramonetta gave me a great story when she says, man, Bumper, back in the day, they used to throw all kinds of stuff on the stage. He said, but now they throw four, them and four, it looks like a pizza. 44 C is a record, but you know, I, think, I think it's a little bit exaggerated what you're saying, but but you see there's a there's a, a video there. I think it was the Johnny Canales show, and, and the label sent me, and, and it was without a band. And there's a lot of girls like next to it, and and, and so I, I I didn't know how to react when there's no band behind me. I've always been a, a, a band guy. I, right. I, never, I don't do the solo things. I don't you know <laughs> I don't do the track thing. You know. Right. And, right. Right. And so I start dan you know singing and swaying and, and but that was a nervous tick. I don't. What am I doing here without the <laughs> band? And I got a vest on to hear that. I, I honestly try and hide all those pictures from my grandchildren, but I'm like, eh, eh, and I'm singing Las Miradas. No shirt. And, oh, no, no shirt. shirt. Eh, but, and girls are like, eh, and you look at them and I go, man, I, I, I remember maybe being there, but I remember a little, here's Mexico calling. I hope it's a gig. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and I, I, I remember like uh, I was there, but I don't remember girls, you know, like screaming and stuff. You're so nervous, and you're going through the things. And right. I hope I remember the lyrics. You know, it's just like the same thing at the Tejano Music Awards. I remember being at the Alamo Dome when when they hit almost thirty five, thirty six thousand, and I remember coming out. This is way before all these phones came out, stuff. You know, but 
But y- you come out and you see the flickering. It's like a movie. It's like, oh, my God. You think you're, man, I made it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, too, too bad they weren't paying just to see you, right? But, but at that very moment, you're thinking, oh, my God, what's the first line? Because we were singing live, you know. And m- most of the shows, uh, there's very few bands that would do uh, lip sync to that, but 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 most that, that we did, and I think all all those, the ones that we did, it was live. And so, to remember the lyrics is, you know, you talk about you know kind of like sharpening yeah. your iron, and, and those things are are things that I remember. But people que gritando, que gary, que, you know, it's like it's like a fade. It's like I don't remember three weeks ago now. Maybe signable age, but uh, I remember. I remember somebody throwing their their bras and stuff like that. And <laughs> and, and the only reason, yes. I, the only reason I remember was like forty four C. And that was that was the record to date. And 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 now and now nobody throws her. Not, yeah, no, not, no, not in an old man. Like but, me. but that's <laughs> why I said Raven giving me a story. Like he goes, "Bumper, they used to throw, and you would pick them up. And be like, man, people are wearing that, these that things." That happened a lot more to Raven. He was Elvis. Yeah, you know, he but, so and he said, but now they throw them, and it looks like they throw me a pizza. They're cooking a pizza in the air. <laughs> All right, man. Saludos to Raven. And, uh, um, Eddie, we, we have a few, we have a few more um, few more sponsors tonight. You know? Yep, three of them. Oh, I'm supposed to talk, huh? He didn't play the oh, sound. He was too loud. Too. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Our it's good your, friend Mike Gonzalez and the Iconics this weekend in Arizona. If you guys haven't checked it out, the Whoopi Days Parade starts at 10 o'clock. Saturday's going to have all kinds of Tejano events. So make sure you guys go check out the homeboys, Mike Gonzalez and the Iconics. This weekend in Arizona, I think it starts tomorrow. So make sure you guys go out there and show some love. Un saludo to our good friend, the Familia Aguilar, Familia Aguilar Promotions. Good day, it's Ricky Ray. Mass is calling today. Oye, necesito préstamo para cumplir casa. Oh, perdón. ¿Me pueden ayudar en español? Ah, sí, español. Un momento, por favor. How do I get a hold of a lender that speaks Spanish? Ooh, I know. Hey, ¿qué pasó, compadre? ¿Qué pasó, primo? Vamos, compa. Y ahora, niños. Ahí vienen. Hablamos español. Pero el tucanazo. Un saludo a nuestro buen amigo Ricky Ray, el militar, man. Uh, if you're looking at my home, you get up my boy Ricky Ray. Uh, he'll, he'll be, he'll be there to take care of some funny guys. He's, he's an amazing, amazing saxophone player. 956-424-5724. Let him know bumper sent you. If you're looking to buy, sell, he's the guy you want to talk to. He's just a great, great guy. And again, me and Gary talked about a little bit earlier in the uh, broadcast, August 23rd through August 25th this year, Milwaukee, Wisconsin is the place to be. The Mexican Fiesta, bringing you all our cultura and like, I think four or five different stages, some smaller stages. It's beautiful. You, you can see it right there for yourself. The grounds are just beautiful. The weather is beautiful that time of year. The Delta Boys, Gary Hobbs, uh, AJ Castile. Gary Hobbs. I mean, yeah, yeah, Gary Hobbs again. <laughs> <laughs> De Paranda, our good friend De Paranda is going to be there. Uh, Gary Rollins. Hobbs. Bumper. Bumper, G- I'll be there, of Gary course. Hobbs. Of course. <laughs> our good friend David Lee Garza, Los Musicales. Hey, uh, DLG. Yeah. And again, hosted by yours truly, Mr. Bumper Gomez. Beautiful stage, beautiful, beautiful area, beautiful people. The weather's amazing, and the fans are just awesome, man. So can't wait to see all my Milwaukee family this year, August 23rd through August 25th. If you haven't, make your, make, get your flights, get you some hotels. It's going to be a good, good time right there. Vanessa, Milwaukee's Hi, ready Vanessa. for Gary's Bella. return. Yeah. <laughs> And también, uh, congratulations to uh, to Vanessa on her new ba- on her on her brand new baby boy. Hey, check those out. What the? You see those wallets, Gary? What do you think? Yeah. 
Our good friend Dave, man, you can hit him up on social media. Uh, I posted earlier, go back to my post on Bumper Gomez. I posted his his uh, Facebook page. You guys can order anything, any, any special leather products you want to make. You have a logo, small business, you want to give out a little gift. Hit up my buddy David. He'll take care of you, man. He made me those two wallets, and a, uh, he made them quick. He made them quick. So, Bumper, what, what do you think is, uh, what do you think, uh, what's the worst thing that they've thrown at you on stage? <laughs> Oh, uh, they've thrown tomatoes and told me to get the, the hell out of there. The finger. They, yeah, the finger. Uh, I'm ready for the artist. You know, all that. They, they've done all that stuff. And then, of course, once you buy your home, you got to protect it. Why not protect it with our good friend, the beautiful and lovely Miss Di Marie, 210-837-8623. That's 210-837-8623. She can help you out with all your vivid and home security needs cameras inside, outside. Uh, G- I, Gary, he has Vivint right here. It's a good, good customer right here. And also all your solar panel years. needs. <laughs> Hit her up, 210-837-8623. And then, of course, you got to have internet. You, you got good internet where you live, Eddie? Great I internet. I mean, too, Gary. Great internet. Our good friend, George Hernandez, you can hit him up, 210-410-9698. If you're in the San Antonio area, you own a small business, he can come to your business and give you whatever internet you need, whatever speed, whatever fits your, your business. He can put a package together and make it happen. Hit up George with Spectrum Business Internet, 210-410-9698. And then our good friend, if you haven't, guys, had a chance to go out to any of your local record shops, make sure you get out there and support our good friend, Mr. MC2, right? Monico Cortez out there, Mi Hijo, Mi Angel, an album produced right there in Gibby Studios. Had David Lee Gaza, Los Musicales, Chris Q, Chente Barrera, Sandy G, Rick Fuentes, just to name a few uh, on this album. So make sure you guys go out there, buy it. And when you show up to the record shop, make sure you let them know that you heard it right here on Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. This Thursday, next Thursday, April 25th, PacFest. Me and Eddie are going to be there. We're going to have music from Masore, Los Ibarra Boys, Grupo Control, and then our good friend, Mr. Bobby Polido. It's a one-day part of uh, San Antonio Fiesta at the Palo Alto College on the 25th. Make sure you guys get your tickets, get out there, and have a good time. I know we're going to have a good time. You know, Bobby's going to be there. It's going to be a good time. So, and Masore, I mean, those guys make anybody dance. You know what I mean? Uh, and then again, the, our good friends from the Valley, the Ibarra boys are going to be there. Uh, two young kids uh, that play some awesome, awesome conjunto music right there. The Ibarra boys at 615. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody out there this year at PacFest. That's it, Gary. It's a lot of commercials, buddy. A lot of commercials, right? I need a... I can't be talking to these things, Eddie. That's too much, bro. I'm going to have to do voiceovers. producer has been making your something word yeah. for, for a change. <laughs> uh, big, big shout out, Eddie. Yeah, no. Um, big shout out to Eddie. We're, we're so trying to get I him see, on camera. He, first he, time I see Eddie without Laura. This, I had never seen oh, Eddie without Laura. Don't, don't look too far. Oh. Just it's right on the other side of the wall. She's here, she I promise you. In, She's okay. already here. She already in. Big, As okay. a matter of fact, she wanted you to sing a she wanted you to sing a part. What was the name of the song, Eddie? Se divierte ya no piensa en mí. Se divierte ya no piensa en mí. No piensa en mí. No piensa en mí. <laughs> no, shout out to Laura I, I and Eddie. The sway. There you go. You, 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 need, you need room to move. Oh um, un saludo to our good friend Tweet Juarez in the house uh, from Grupo Moneda. Jose Javier Cepeda, Simper Fire Devil Dog, Steven Martinez. Thank you for watching Sticks. Uh, always supporting Tejano Music up in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, un, un saludo to our good friend Steven Martinez. Uh, Big he, shout uh, out Tweet and Angelica. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they were they were out Steven this weekend Martinez. in the boutique. La Familia Martinez, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, Big shout out, brother. Oh, Stella Gomez, I hope you're getting paid to announce all those advertisements. Nah, we just do it for the love of music. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'd rather get paid. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, what Gary said, what Gary said, eh, no. But man, saludos to everybody who's watching on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, it, it is amazing to sit back and watch the different analytics uh, from from both Facebook and YouTube to see how much the show has grown just in just the last six months. It has grown so much. But I'm not one of those guys that like look at that like I just let it go. It it, it is what it is, and I just kind of like like you know I just organically just let it grow like. Uh, 
I, 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 just I'm not, do you. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Gary. You said it right there. Like, just just be me. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, uh, you said it earlier. You just just keep scrolling up and go on to the to the next thing. Thank it you is. for the three second view. We appreciate it. Uh, but for everybody who who uh, sticks around all the time uh, through the whole show, thank you guys so much. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Selena, Joe Carvion, saludos to Gary, compadre de alma, Joe Mendes Joe from Eagle, Eagle Pass, Pass Texas. Hey, and Selena, hello. Man, you know everybody in Eagle Pass, no, Gary. No, they got a lot of friends. Gary, so friends. when you walk into the casino in Eagle Pass, ¿ya te conocen? No, I don't, I don't go to the casino much, but I'm, I'm at HEB and Walmart every other day and HEB especially and Flip flops, well, I don't know flip flops, but tannies and shorts. I, you know, I used to love Walmart when it was twenty four hours because I could go in there at one, two, three in the morning. And nobody would bother you. No, no, it's not about bother, but I would go with messed up bad hair day and stuff like that, and <laughs> not worry about it, right? But uh, once in a while, you have somebody stop you for a picture, and and I'm I'm more embarrassed than anything. It's like, and I'm thinking, oh man, I hope my hair doesn't look that bad, or or I have. I, you know, bags under my eyes and stuff, but uh, now I go to HEB just about every other day, so. Well, well for, the, for, the, for the ladies who are wondering, I'm sitting within two feet of Gary Hobbs. Uh, I can tell you the, the, the man's skin is, is, is great. I, I hope when I'm that, well, my, my skin's already not, not that good, but uh, Gary, Gary looks, he, he looked, to me, he looks the same. You look the same, Gary. You look, you, you look the same. Uh, Bad hair. The, 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 there, there's, there's another Tejano legend that I don't know what he does. I asked him, and he said he doesn't have a regime, but that was David Modest. Uh, David Modest looks younger right now than he did in those album covers from the from the late he, 80s, Dave, early 90s. David Modest, he's still around? <laughs> Okay, I got, oh, I, I, got, I got to tell you why I said that. We were at a we were at a at fiesta, and this is a long time ago. I don't know, fifteen years ago or something. And and we're doing a a interview right at drive time news time uh, on Univision, and uh, and so it's just David and, and and I, and so he went on the mic first and. And, and the reporter was saying, was, aquí estamos en fiesta en San Antonio. ¿Cómo te sientes, David, aquí? Y con Gary Hobbs. Y dijo, Gary Hobbs, he's still around? Like, you know. <laughs> so so I, 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 just, I just hit on David. But David hit me right on Univision, you know. But every time I, I see David, he's one of my favorites. But uh, we, we kind of shoot it between us. And when I see him and Joe Posada together, man, they shoot it between themselves like, Pa, 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 pa. They, they go at it. Oh, they go at it, man. It's it's, it's fun to watch. <laughs> Pero, big shout out, Dave. If he's listening in tonight. Yeah, no, D D Dave's been on. He's been on here, man. Like, and, and again, too. I, I just uh, my he's, a, he's my, a class act. Yeah, my tias were like, "Mijo, cómo se mira?" I said, "Tia, he looks he looks younger right now than he did twenty years ago." Well, and, and the thing is that he he sounds just as good today. Oh, he, for sure. He can sing for sure. Uh, Gary, I, I really there's really no. There's really no uh, big time artists that, that don't sound the same. Uh, <laughs> uh, it just depends where you're at. <laughs> it depends where you've been. Ay, <laughs> we, we've honestly not been at the same place. <laughs> no, there's there's some there, no there there's some there's some artists out there that that are that are uh, obviously. Older than than I am, yeah. And and you kind of take things into consideration. Hey man, they've been, you know. But then there's some artists that are younger, and for some reason they're not sounding. And uh, you you got to take care of yourself. You you just, you know, I I'm not gonna preach it to them, but you know, you really want to be in business. You want to be a a singer, and you you act like that, or you don't take care of yourself, and then you go up and you're expecting people to pay to go see you, and you're like, uh, like God bless, like you got to take care of yourself, right? Okay, enough preaching for tonight. <laughs> Next, hey, Gary, Gary. So, so when when you say like like take care of yourself, for for a vocalist as yourself, over forty years singing these songs and giving the fans what we want, whether it was old school, new school, in between school, all the schools, right? What is what when you when you get done with a weekend and you come home, what do you consider taking care of? Yourself? Like, do you not talk? Like, yeah. hey, I'm not going to talk until Thursday. 
Well, I mean, when I have to go to the doctor, I, you know, I, I imagine there's steroid stuff, you know, to get me out of a jam. But there's there's been uh, five, six, seven gigs during my career where I could barely talk and I didn't cancel. And that's just God's grace because because people forgave it. And I, I, I went through songs and some of it came out and some of it like, oh, you know, but I've always had someone like Jaime Sama on the bass where he could come in and sing. But I mean, when you look at the the statistics, you know, five, six, seven gigs out of thousands of gigs, you know, but but I, I do find rest if I get to sleep a lot, mm -hmm. especially before a show. I'm, 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 I'm good. Gracias a Dios. I, uh, <clears throat> I had read up on that and and it was just something that I was naturally doing. But then when I, I was at a casino last year in May with, with Bobby, Bobby Pulido in uh, Michigan, and, and we were talking back there uh, uh, backstage, but, but he mentioned something that, uh, that kind of confirmed because he said he, he had talked to Vicente Fernandez when he met him, and he asked him how Vicente would do it to sing so many hours nonstop. And and he says that what a blessing he got to meet Chente, right? Vicente Fernandez, the Vicente Fernandez. But but Bobby, Bobby said something that uh, Vicente Fernandez told him that he sleeps a lot. So if, if he gets into he, he'll sleep eight, ten, twelve hours when he can, like before a show. And and I found that to to be true a lot of times. I could be feeling off, but if I get to sleep enough, I'm I'm good. <laughs> and the wife knows, the family knows, like hey. Oh, my wife, my wife used to tell my kids unless the, unless the house is burning, you don't wake up your father. <laughs> so wow. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, speaking of Chenten and that, I watched an actual an interview, and it was when I was living in California, where he he one of his things was you know in L.A. he would play like six seven nights in a row and do three hour shows. And and there's no break. Like it, like he comes out, the 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 gate opens, and he comes out and he starts singing, and he doesn't need a microphone. Like like he yeah. he could take away the microphone and fill up the the theater with just this beautiful beautiful sound. But where I was going was that he, he you said you know he slept a lot, but he said he puts the air condition as cold as it can be, right. And he's in his console seal. He said, I'm in my console seal. I'm in my underwear. And, and I, I just, until it's time to go to the show, and he and he goes to the show. And then the other thing that I found amazing was, I don't see you do it, but the the drinking. Like, he drank, like, th th that's just not water in that tequila bottle. Like, he was, like, shot after shot after shot, I don't night after night after night. I don't. I don't see you. I don't hang like I used to. <laughs> but 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 do you, no, do but you still I, I take quit. some shots on on, uh, on yeah, stage? Yeah, what's in a great well? I, I I do, but I don't drink regularly. It's been decades, really. But uh, I don't drink anything cold. That's like the eleventh commandment: Thou shalt not drink anything. I don't have anything with ice. I, I never have since the early nineties, and I used to drink a lot of stuff really cold, and then I I, I would get ronco. I'd get hoarse, you know. But but so that's been for decades. I don't drink anything cold. I'll, I can drink anything that's that's been in the fridge, but with ice and stuff like that, or I'll, I'll take room temperature or anything. I so can. so you'll drink a soda like just out of the fridge, but mm -hmm. but not you're not gonna put it on ice and make nah. it like cold or whatever. Yeah. And so when you go to the restaurant, we say no ice. No ice. Yeah. Uh, every July, I I splurge on an ice cream cone or stuff like that, and. I told my wife that the day I retired, which is probably they're gonna have to pry the microphone off my dead hand, right? But <laughs> but when I retire, I'm gonna sit butt naked on a block of ice and have an ice cream cone in one hand and a, a yuki on the other and just go at it. You know? And be my last. <laughs> it's gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna be ice cold, yeah, ice, ice cold. cold. Ah, that, that that that's crazy. Uh, Gary, the the video we started the uh, the. We started the show off with man. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the video, man. Did did, did you pick that spot? Did, did you show the video or? Te juré something that I wrote. Now the first the first single that we threw out was Quedaría Cumbia, and and blessed to write that one too. But we we try to stay in, in Eagle Pass on on this whole you know theme for the whole CD. Mm -hmm. uh, the third video that came out is uh, Borrón y Cuenta Nueva. We did that at Freddie Records, right, uh, and. Uh, so Don Freddy wouldn't have to travel, right? But um, and then we just shot a new video is coming out this week. Llegaste a mi corazón, 
And uh, we did that in Eagle Pass with some dear friends of ours at Onyx Club, Onyx downtown. And so, uh, but Tejure was something that we're, I wanted to go black and white on it. And, and I couldn't find something ample. And, but we went to the arts and culture center and they, they were barely remodeling it. And I go, no, just, just let me use it like that because they, they'd been rebuilding and remodeling beautiful renovation. But, uh, I got in there right when they were about to start it. And, uh, but we, uh, we did Tejure there in Eagle Pass and in around Eagle Pass. The last time you were here, you, something, ha you brought something up about Eagle Pass. Uh, oh, somebody had said, that you weren't you weren't even originally from Eagle Pass, and, <laughs> and, and you were like, "What? Like, what are you talking about?" Right? Didn't somebody so, somebody in the media or somebody said he's not even from Eagle Pass or something like that? Well, you, you know, there's two guys, and they were they were going back and forth. That one of them had said that he he wanted to interview me, and he wanted to know why why the bands in Eagle Pass never become famous. And I go, hmm, and and then. Uh, but then the other one started writing on something saying that 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 I I had I had been mentioning that I was from San Antonio that it wasn't only after uh, the Garcia brothers were announcing from El Aguilón that I started saying that I was from Eagle Pass and I go man here's two guys that really don't know jack about Tejano music or or even the local scene in Eagle Pass and so I don't profess to be famous you know but but god dang it's um, I may be the closest thing, you know, to, <laughs> yeah, to, being yeah. a, to being a little bit popular there. But, but, uh, and so then, uh, and then I, I, I wrote something back, like, I'm about to make you famous. So I was going to blast them, but, but it was a joke. It, it was, a, I'm about to make you famous. And the next day he writes, pinche Gary, you know, ni me so famoso. And he didn't, it went over his head. Went over his head, But yeah. he said, I triggered him. And no, that, that didn't trigger me. That that I wasn't famous. No, what triggered me was that that I was saying that that I, I used to announce that I was from San Antonio and and get this straight. I've never said that. I I always said uh, everywhere I go and even at the awards and things. Gary, uh, your introduction. Uh, you just please just from Eagle Pass, Texas, Gary Hobbs, and that's been going on for forty years. So so people that that don't what what kind of you know got me off guard was that th those are two guys from Eagle Pass. Like what? What hole did they come out of? Because yeah. the, the local scene. I mean, and I, I heard one of them does loops and stuff like that. And if you're doing loops and stuff, you must be hearing local music. Or I don't know their age. I don't know. I mean, forgot their names. But uh, man, the only thing that really triggered me wasn't that I wasn't famous. I wasn't popular. <laughs> what triggered me was that they were saying that I had been announcing that I was from San Antonio and. And um, and I think they may have mistaken me because at one time Oscar G, you know, the, his management was from San Antonio, mm -hmm. and they had been announcing him on several performances, the San Antonio Cowboy, and and when I heard that, I go, wait a minute, it was Oscar Sumigo Pass, and and to be honest, I was born in Amarillo, I was born at an Air Force base that's not even there anymore, right? So, but but three four months later, um, I was born premature at seven months. So three, four months later, I'm out of the incubator. My mom goes back to Eagle Pass. So I've lived in Eagle Pass all my life. But since day one, this band and it goes back to Brando and Juan Barrientos, all that the original band. We were we've always prided ourselves that, you know, we're from Eagle Pass. And, you know, I, I, I could I could go back and be obnoxious about it and you know that I'm we're the first ones to ever be on major record labels and major sponsorship and not Coca-Cola, the local bottlers out of Atlanta, Georgia and stuff and, and look at, you know, but, but th those things don't make you famous. You know, what makes you famous is getting out there and grinding and doing your job, you know, yeah. but, oh, uh, no, for sure. but, but those two guys, you know, they, it was on me for, about, for about a week. It just, I, I couldn't shake it off because the only thing that rattled me was that there's actually somebody that thinks that, you know, that I was saying uh, that I was from San Antonio and <laughs> never said that, never said that. It just tells me that he's, he's not very in tune with Tejano. Gary, have you ever been put in a position uh, maybe in public where, where, where somebody has really, really pissed you off and, you know, you, you, you maybe uh, could have, could have responded differently or acted differently. Um, 
and, and, and you're over 40 years in the industry. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, with the public, with the public, uh, there's so many stories there, but uh, sometimes you don't want to go back to all that crap and stuff that, you know, but, but you're, you're talking about, you know, the, the women ever, you know, throw things at you and Gary, Gary, uh, well, the truth was that, that it, it was, it was overloaded with that, you know, but, and, and so at gigs, you know, somebody, you know, starts, you know, um, they start taunting you and stuff like that. And then, you know, start calling you the, 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 the big Jota word, you know, and, and, and Jota today is something like very acceptable, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it seems pretty popular. And, but back then it's like, uh, whoever was like that didn't come out. It was a death sentence for you if you. Yeah, you, but, if you, but well, I can tell you, I was never that. But but when they start saying you're that because they see women responding to you, and and I I threw a punch to somebody in Fort Worth and in Van Horn, I got off and four guys were there and I I, I had a line, I just quit the line and I went st straight at them. One of the guy comes on, he shows a badge, he was a trooper. And I started cussing him out, and I started, I got on the phone, I started reporting him, you know, for, you know. And the next thing you know, cops are coming, and I saw that little trooper he, getting his ass out of there in a hurry. Because, <laughs> but, but that's just a one of many, many instances. And I thought one day I'd write the book, but I, I, I won't write the book, because I'd have to, knowing me, I'd have to write the real names, and I don't want to. No, uh, you should uh, you should write a no, book. No, Gary. no, you write your book. No, <laughs> that, that was that, I mean little stories like that. People, people but love me, that stuff. Let me tell you, those, those things like that happen to me. I mean, all these other singers that are in around my age and older, they've gone through all those things too. You know, I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't um, targeted like that. Just me. It's uh, it's happened to a lot of. I can see men getting upset because they just took the lady out to eat. They probably bought her the outfit, got her the ticket to get in there. Mind you, this goes is, in there and then, you, then he's was, screaming. She's screaming for you. He's standing next to her like, "Hey, so what am I? I just bought you. Please, I, I just took you to church's chicken, dude. Like, what, what's the deal here? You know what I mean? Please uh, uh, put into account that this was like the early nineties, right? This is not. <laughs> this is not five days. This ago. is not the Gary Hobbs now. <laughs> this is not the Gary Hobbs now. No, uh, uh, and, and Gary, I mean. Uh, you're a human being, just like anybody else. And I think a lot of people forget that about artists. Like, these guys are human beings, and this is what they do for, you know, some of them have the, they're fortunate enough that this is what they do for a living. So, you know, re, you, got, you guys have to respect that. You know, uh, you, you see athletes all the time, they're on the court, and, you know, the fans start heckling them, and you can, you can only really take so much before you, before you snap and be like, hey, dog, he needs to chill the hell out. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, but... Yeah, I, I, I wanted to ask you that. I wanted to see, you know. Uh, uh, you're kidding the, when you said unfiltered. And hey, <laughs> the hey show. there you go. That you, uh -huh. You're right. You're right. Um, Gary, th this this is the part of the show where I give you the microphone and, you know, you, any birthdays that you didn't forget, saludos, oh. uh, whatever you want to say, the, the show's yours, the microphone's yours. Uh, in this segment of Hanging with Gary, we like <laughs> And we're back. Yeah, we're A big back. shout out to all our band members, the usual suspects. Jaime Samago, Homero Castillo, Roger Salinas, Corey Carrizales. Brando's been helping us on the keys. Big shout out to my compadre Brando. Uh, of course, uh, CEO, Queen and stuff, my wife Diana and... My son, Gary Lee, books and manages a lot of our stuff. Um, big shout out to all of them and people that have supported us in 40 years, coming up on 41 years. And, and it's been a nonstop ride. I, I've, man, I'm a blessed guy. I never, I never had to, you know, um, take three months off. I never said I was, you know, doing some other stuff. It's always been Tejano music. And, and yes, it's always been from Eagle Pass, Texas, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and, uh, I continue to work and, you know, I, people will give us so many compliments that it, it, it's undeserving, you know, but uh, again, our job is to go out there and, and let you forget about some things and dance. Dan oh my God. I love to see people dancing, you know, but, uh, and, and so big shout out to all those people that have supported us throughout the years. Uh, as for me, I, I get back into the studio really soon, Freddie Records. 
Oh, the last CD went, uh, it felt biblical. <laughs> 40 years in the desert, I come out with a Latin Grammy nominee. Now, we didn't win. Well, that was a bummer. <laughs> but what would have been a worse bummer is to have gone to Spain and head back 16 hours and uh, with, <laughs> with, with the big L. <laughs> but big shout out, Contra, you know, you know, but... Uh, so we get back into the studio and we continue to put our cruises on, or Gary Hobbs cruise, uh, Gary Hobbs cruise number six uh, to the Bahamas. It's the first time that we're uh, offering that we we have the opportunity to take them to to the Bahamas, right? But uh, it's number six. It's on Harmony of the Seas. We're coming out of Galveston, Texas. You can visit us at GaryHobbsCruise.com. GaryHobbsCruise.com. Uh, Ram Herrera, David Ligarza, Los Musicales. Gary Hobbs on board, <laughs> special appearance with by Cesar Omar, Hector Gutierrez, Johnny Davila, and maybe some more. But uh, we're still taking registra- registrations. You know, um, bumper on this last cruise that we did, I we we became the mother of mothers, man, on the cruises. We had six hundred people on board, God and and you can, look, you can look at the videos and stuff. There's other people that have done cruises. You know, and, and, and our hat's off to them, you know. But uh, our cruise is about making them dance. We have dance floors, stuff like that. You know, on our cruises, there ain't no VIP section. Everybody's important to us. We don't sell extra VIP to here, to there, to events. We we put on two, three dances. We have 70s and 80s. We have a meet and greet. We have sometimes a Tejano night. And, and our dances aren't at 1, 2 in the afternoon. That's not throwing shade at the other people. But but it's the truth because when when you go to a Gary House family friends cruise, we have met so many people throughout the years on these cruises that have become family, and and they've met each other and now they're like family. It's it just grew. Uh, I want to think that maybe because we hadn't done anything since COVID, since COVID, but mm-hmm. we had about six hundred people and they're all Tejano music lovers on this last one on Royal Caribbean, and our next one is November 9th to the seventeenth. Uh, going to the Bahamas, it goes out of Galveston to Cozumel to Nassau and to Coco Cay, and then back. It's it is an eight day cruise. We've never had an eight day cruise. We've always done seven. We don't do the three day either, but <laughs> we do the seven days. But uh, we're really looking forward to it. And again, Ramirez first time on board with us. That's going to be fun, man. Eight <laughs> days of Ramirez, dude. I, an hour, and you, my stomach hurts. I can imagine eight days, man. Hey, Gary. Uh, and one question about your cruises. Does Gary and his beautiful wife get to relax? Uh, Since it's your cruise, or, or are you doing a lot of logistical stuff, and uh, it, it's kind of hectic for you? Well, well, the, the first four were always, you know, um, a good 40, 60, 60 work and stuff. And uh, on this last one, we're doing it without a travel agent. And and so on this last one, we we took care of just about all the logistics stuff, like the on board. But it, now on the Bahamas, we're... I know we're going to be even busier, but there is time, downtime, a little bit of downtime, but sometimes we're just tired. We just, I mean, we've been to these ports. Now, we've been to the Bahamas before, but not as Gary House family cruise. Right. So now we're really looking forward that our cruisers, our big shout out at Tejano Cruisers, and uh, that they get to go to the Bahamas uh, as Gary House family and friends cruise, right? And so a, a little bit of downtime, but... Uh, my kids are usually, my children, my grandchildren are usually on board, and I get to see them 20 seconds here and uh, two minutes there, and oh, there he goes, <laughs> one of my kids. And but, uh, but we're we're so busy, and and it only comes up because of our staff, you know. Our, man, I, our our whole staff, Sammy and Happy Mireles and Mary Richarte and Anna Mungia, Miss B. Miss B from Houston, big shout out. Tejano Loco, uh, DJ Tiv. Oh my God, I'm going to forget people on our on our staff, but um, they're the reason that it all clicks for us. So I got a su- it's just a suggestion, yeah. just a suggestion. On this cruise that's going in November to the Bahamas, I think just a suggestion. Just it's just a suggestion. Okay. I think okay. that Gary Hobbs when he goes home tonight. He needs to go in that closet with all those jackets and move them to the side because I know it's thrown back there somewhere, and bring out that vest. And and I, I think yeah, I think I think you need to bring the vest out and 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 uh, you know squeeze back in you, it. You know they and work they have for them the in cruise Vel- in Velcro now. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, before I forget, I want to give a special salute to Juan de Dios uh, Salda Saldana, who's, uh, he said, Gary Hobbs, one of your biggest fans outside of Texas, watching all the way from North Carolina, man. So un saludo to Juan North de Dios Saldana, watching all the way uh, from North Carolina. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you missed it earlier, uh, you didn't get enough of Gary Hobbs tomorrow night. Gary Hobbs, Texas Latino, Ramonetta and the Outlaw Band, all here in San Antonio, right across the street from Market Square at the Hano Explosion. Our good friend Chente Barrera and all the, all the people there putting on a, a great eight-day event. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it starts again the following Thursday as Fiesta kicks off tomorrow. We kicked it off tonight. Tonight was a, uh, was a Gary Hobbs Fiesta kickoff show for Bumpers Wacky Wednesday. Me and Eddie will be out there tomorrow. Uh, Eddie, and, you going to drink Laura. tomorrow or no? And Laura. Oh, and Laura. And Laura. Are you going to drink tomorrow or no? It's Fiesta. It's Fiesta. Oh, I didn't know if he had I, enough. I'm just both he was hurting. It's just a suggestion. It's just but. a suggestion. <laughs> just a suggestion. Just a suggestion. But, Gary, um, honestly, man, um, I, I want to thank you, one, for your friendship. Uh, I don't think there's ever been a time that I've I've called you and you haven't you haven't answered. Uh, I, I, but I, I know what time to call. You got that right. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what time so, to call. Some I people wouldn't, just don't learn. Some yeah. people. Look, look, you thought she wasn't here? She's here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. no. They... <laughs> uh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Oh, it's Eddie tomorrow, Laura. Eddie. My bad. We just, have a show to we just just FYI. I played at the wedding. Oh, so. there you go. I did right, Eddie. Yeah, you it sure was did. it was me. Yes, it was me. It was happy you. anniversary, was Eddie and Laura. Happy Thank anniversary, you, Eddie. How many Laura. years, Eddie? Nine. Nine, Nine years. years. Oh, dang. Nine married. Dang, yes. that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Saludos to Eddie and Laura. Yeah, happy anniversary. And, uh, no, Gary, uh, again, like I was saying, thank you for your friendship, man. Um, thank you for the just years and years of great Tejano music. And, and I'm, I'm speaking, I'm sure, for many, many fans all over the United States and Mexico, uh, all over the world, um, that the nostalgia of Tejano music that, that it, it is always to, when we see you on stage, it's just whether uh, it's a hug saying my mom loved you uh or or you know i grew up listening to you whatever it may be uh thank you for just the great years of the hell music man and we here on wacky wednesday we wish you the best uh it's an honor and a privilege to always have a legend like yourself yeah. in here in the studio with us um i look forward to many more years of gary thank Hobbs. you bumper thank you Eddie. thank you for all the kind words and again people that have supported us throughout 40 years almost 41 years and we're indebted to them. God bless them, and and we hope to see you uh, live somewhere starting tomorrow night. Con el favor de Dios, uh, Tejano Explosion, and uh, and those are uh, fiestas mexicanas. Let's yeah, in Milwaukee, y'all better be ready. Come in Milwaukee. Uh, we can take it Eddie this year. We're, we're actually we're Eddie. yeah. We're, 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 we're gonna talk about it right now. We're taking before we hang up. Eddie and Laura. We're gonna we're gonna first yeah. Laura's going. Yeah. <laughs> This is the first time I, I always go and I, I get to MC all the Tejano events, which I'm I'm going to continue to do. But uh, we're going to take we're going to take our stuff and we're we're going to set up out there and hopefully we get to sit down with some fans from the you Midwest. You mean Eddie's going to take all the stuff and connect all the stuff? <laughs> no, well, well, yeah, I mean, but I'm going to carry it. Eddie's the one that's going to okay. set it up, and you know, he, he he does his magic. He's just done. I can't say it enough uh, on on what a great job he's done with the show and how much the show has progressed uh, since he took over as producer of Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. And to everybody who watched this, this uh, evening, thank you guys so much for supporting Tejano Music. Continue to go out there and support uh, whatever the cost is. Pay it. Go buy the merchandise, right? Please go out there and buy the merchandise. If you're in San Antonio, Fiesta kicks off, right? So I should see everybody out there in Fiesta having a good time. Something cold to drink, except for Gary. He doesn't drink cold. Nothing cold. So room temperature, oh, you guys get a <laughs> But we're looking forward to seeing everybody. And again, like Gary said, tomorrow night, we'll see everybody at the Hound Explosion. Me and Eddie, all the Wacky Wednesday staff will be out there uh, having a good time watching Mr. Gary Hobbs, Ramonetta, and our good friends, Texas Latino. Don't forget, next week, Mr. Frank Salazar from Salazar Promotions, along with our good friend, Mr. Lucky Joe, 
We'll both be here in the studio. It's going to be a good time. Uh, when Lucky's here, it's it's always a, a, a funny, funny I'm time. A big, big fan of Lucky. Uh, and so uh, I I can't wait till next week. So make sure you guys put that on your calendar next week. Lucky Joe, Frank Salazar from the uh, big Memorial Day bash. Uh, we'll both be here talking about the Memorial Day bash and uh, talking to Lucky Joe. He's got yeah, a lot of things happen in the last couple of weeks. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for keeping the Hotel Music relevant. Wherever I might see you, say what's up. Make sure you follow, you like, subscribe, or you're watching on YouTube or watching on Facebook. And make sure you follow Bumper Gomez on Facebook and Bumper Gomez channel on YouTube. Eddie, thank you so much. Gary, gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much.